Hello everybody, I'm a simple gamer and welcome back to the final part. Yep, should be. A fire emblem, the dark amulet. As you can see, final chapter, the world shall drown. Last time, climb the tower, defeat law monsters, and defeat Selena. That was pretty fun, albeit short, but definitely nice using like my best units to fight some pretty hard enemies and getting to her at the very end and finding out the advantage doesn't double first before you get to attack because yeah I was kind of risking Alexius there but start right here this might be a longer part since there is like the epilogue well maybe not an epilogue but like the credits and all that and then my uh, kind of quick review since yeah I'm not good at reviewing stuff but I am gonna try to like Say my thoughts since I do did make a couple notes as I went through the game. But of course, scripts aren't my thing because I, I'll just sound like a robot just reading it. Anyways, starting out with Zadard. Huh, got his reflections at the very end. Does regret the things in the past, like he still remembers them, but still wants to change the world. A shame that her daughter will have to die. Uh, that's definitely not how you remember her. How do know by doing that? Disappointment. Crazy lady. Yeah, since the daughter didn't like Royce, I did not think he would like uh, Selena either. Being deceived, of course. I mean, Adrix got deceived too. A war without end, but if he fails, that would be peace, no? Oh, that part's right, but I don't quite like what Adrix said before. Even if he does fail, how would that bring endless war? Well, probably with the other kingdoms, I guess. But I don't think Edric meant like that. He got hit. Oh, and then Edric just takes it. Oh, and then he runs. Nice. Julia comes in. More powerful. You know he was supposed to be bleeding, but I guess he was going on undergoing the ritual. So I, I don't know. Let's just chalk it up to the amulet then. Ten times the power. Does that mean Julia's gonna get a weapon? You know she can only use staves. Unless if she gets like another promotion, that would be very cool. She's ready to sacrifice herself. Yep, Edric will need his wife. I love Julia talk at the end, Duffy. Uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense, endgame and all that. If they do get an A support. His world. Plans. He didn't actually like specify what he wanted to do afterwards. Like uh... In plain words. Even though you can probably guess what he needs. And wants. Well that cannot exist. Always seen it. Always dealt. But always wanted something. Well, no. Not wanted something else, but. Yeah. Didn't actually think it would come true.
destruction. Not not want to save people. Okay, I'm actually totally fine with uh, the Dark Revelation too. Since he did like have his uh flashback arc as well. At the very least I do like his turnaround more than Edric. Whose uh maniacal attack on Phoenix just still fell out of place. But I, I guess I'll talk more about that later. Anyways, back to Edric and Julia. For Volney Ziggurat. That's a word. Okay, finish this war for good. Pick units. They're mostly the same. I get to use two more, so I bring along Sophia. Because, yeah, she is kind of Zadar's wife, so. I really should train her more. <laughs> These stats aren't looking that good, but. If the alternative is Freya, then. That would probably be fine, but yeah, Sophia, story reasons mainly. And then Hadima, because I do like her stat line. Her low res is kind, could be trouble, but I do like her strength, and her speed is decent. Okay, and then the rest are the same. Okay, items, I already did everything, so hopefully I didn't forget anything. Well, even if it is, I, I can just restart, but with a lot of my characters being close to capping, I don't see too much trouble here. Oh, I guess I should put Sean close to, to the front though. Since he does have a legendary weapon and uh, Alexis can attack from the back. Okay, let me save it just to... yep. Yeah, so I don't have to change their position again, and... Oh yeah, Julia is force deployed because, yeah, story. So, okay, start. Okay, so I guess everyone who gets deployed gets the default line. Just like in Sacred as well, all the other Fire Emblem games at the end. Yep, there we go. Ah, the Phoenix Blades. <laughs> A lot of the Phoenix Blades have to be benched. Hilda. <laughs> Mention of heroes, okay. And yeah, Katrine. About Fane and all that. Go for prophecies. Elise. It's okay, set this place on fire, okay. I guess that uh, works for her personality. <laughs> In more ways than one. Eleanor. Sorry, Edgar, you're not here. Alexius. Well, I guess I could have done my characters thing. No, but then there were, were, are also the, like the bench people that I do want to talk about a little bit as well. Still calling him a cousin. <laughs> That was a quick one for them, Leandro. I'm sorry, Hadima. I, I know like nothing about you. A family? A hero? What? Well, I didn't deploy her, so I guess I didn't get her support. Loved. But yeah, she, she did stab him. No, he's... Well, yeah, judging from how he talks, he's still there, it's just... Yeah, more layers are, I guess... Added to him or something? That is right, Otello. Julia time. Last one. We actually went through that pretty quick. I thought they would, like, say it a little bit more. Especially Sean and Miley. Okay. 
All of enemies here, just like last time, they are capped. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on with uh, these three. With their kind of crazy stats and their crazy tomes. We got the sleep tome, we got like the berserk axe with a uh, cap defense, almost cap strength. And then to the left we have Tori Dread with his somewhat cap strength even though in the flashback he was like totally old and very weak. Anguish and Flick Stone. That hit and strength though. Okay. I don't know what to do, but first I do want to like clear out all the guys and well as many guys as I can in front. So that I can like figure out what to do after in relative safety. Which the game will probably t uh, prompt you to do anyways. Okay, so who well probably wanna stuck in the back. Oh, talk with Sean Miley. I checked out the talks beforehand and there weren't any. So I guess that's a very late support. Sophia or Telos, is that A? That is A. Do I want their A support? Personally, I'm not quite sure how I feel about those two because one was a captive of the other for like years. So if they do like get together, it, it just feels kind of weird to me. Okay, I guess I'll start with this. I was hoping, yeah, Phoenix will one shot because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna deal with the other one. I might have to be held up with like the javelin, 15 times two, and then like uh, someone else to attack as well. You know, I would love them to go for some others up here as well. I guess my uh, left side stacked. I don't like my left side. If I take care of the two mages, I should be okay though. Well, the two Medusas, I mean. But I do think the flyers do have to die. Okay, let me see if Phoenix gets like a crit or something before. Since the Wounded Maker doesn't want one shot. Unfortunately. Okay, Infernus. Ah, okay. Phoenix gets hit. That's fine. 5 HP left. I guess I should check how Tello does. Blizzard, 23. 20 times 2 is 40, but still not a kill. The Brave Lance, 12. And the Holy Lance. Okay, the Holy Lance kills. That does free up Hilda, and then Hadima can finish off the- well, Sophia can finish off the last one, but I think I'd rather heal with her. Yeah, since uh, Otello and Phoenix might both be injured. In though, yeah, Otello should be fine, since he is like in the swamp darkness area. But anyways, attack here. Good thing I did go from the Holy Lands, thinking that he would need it and he absolutely did. Yeah, I think Phoenix is bulkier, so I can hold off on healing him for like a turn. If I don't have anyone else, even though I will have Julio. Magic. Nice. Okay, get that A support in. Support, and then I'll heal afterwards. Wanting him to not die. We'll turn to Northol. Huh, the nephew and serve him? Oh, isn't he a bit too young though? Yeah, probably, probably means like the retainer or something. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. That that sounds uh sounds like he likes it. That would be please not the uh... Okay, can find the manor. Only Sophia's a guest, okay. Ah, uh, they are a thing. Okay. Yeah, that that does a uh, that is a little bit creepy. I will say, just a little bit. 
don't want to encourage such, such uh, actions. And yeah, just gotta say that if so Sophia is capable of stabbing Zadar like that. Now uh, Tello should also watch out for himself someday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Hadima is gonna iron axe here, get some EXP. Do these guys have longbows? They do not. The dragon can't go that far, so I'm fine for a turn. So yeah, I'm gonna attack here. Get that care kill. Oh yeah, I was thinking of using Rustland. But like I said, he is capped. And his 17 strength isn't that good. You know his 27 speed is good, but his regular like bite isn't actually that strong unfortunately. So yeah, probably not gonna use him. Well, I'm not using him, so yeah. Bench. Oh, nice. Sean can actually one shot with the Kingslayer. He probably, yeah, he probably also kills with the Kelly Kuraga, which he does. Uh, but since it is a monster, I shall use the Kingslayer. Get that Gale Force in, and then Sean can kill someone else. Do I want to beat the guys in the back, I wonder? I mean, these guys are trapped, so I don't have to worry about them. It's the sides that, like, open. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna push Shorn, like, up here because he'll get attacked by everyone. And he is dodgy, but not that dodgy, especially not against... Whoa, 120 hit. 82, that's actually pretty good. But nah, there's no need to risk it when I can just player phase them. The left guys are probably gonna be taken care of, yeah, by Miley and by Lexius. Oh, uh, Miley for the one in the back because of 3 range. Actually, no, 2 range, I mean. And then Alexia's can attack the one in the back. Do I need a Sephiris? 16 times 2, I do. Because I did not give him an L fire, which is fine. I shall do the, hur the Sephiris. The Hurricane is the bow. One sixty-eight damage. And after is Miley. Over here. Actually, oh yeah, I also give her the Holy Bow since Edric didn't need it and no one else can use bows. But yeah, I, uh, Miley doesn't need it either since she does have the Hurricane, but just in case I don't want to like, save the Hurricane. Since it is a lot stronger, but the Holy Bow has so much hit. But Miley doesn't care about hit. Since uh, with her personal skill, she gets 100 hit every time. The steel ball is enough, so I'll do that. Now all the gargoyles are taken care of. The two medusas are also going to die. Tancred can go up and use natural killity, cataclysm. Okay, that 90 hits. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have a 93. Wait. 93? I thought I saw a 92. I guess I'm just a little bit crazy. Okay, Cataclysm. The Tome's damage definitely makes up for Tancred's low magic. I gotta say. Level up, won't get defense, so maybe... Well, just HP. Okay. That's fine. He's basically like a secondary healer with some monster damage. And that's it. Next is Hilda. Rhyme Fang, 53. Holy Blade, also 53. Nice. Wait, they do the same damage? Huh. Oh yeah, she, she is capped so she doesn't get EXP, but those stats are better than Rustlands. 12, while the Rhyme Fang, 17. Wait, how the hell did they do the same damage? Smite evil, unless if this uh, gets times 4 damage or something, because I don't quite get that. Okay, Shorn probably doesn't want to fight the Lancers, so he'll, yeah, finish off this Medusa right here. Another one shot. Yeah, yeah, I still have Eleanor, so I can definitely kill all three now. So the initial enemies are all gone. Since I still have Edric, I still have Gris. 
Holy Axe, 65 damage because Gris has lost strength. And the Holy Axe, probably stronger than the other weapons do. And Weapon Triangle, of course. Get that EXP in. Elise doesn't have effective weapons though. But she might crit with her ore, which is all why to give it to her. I do have 12 uses and all that. Wait, she just straight up doubles. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't even need Eleanor. Uh, I guess I can do it here. No, I should move her further up, but then who the hell do I dance for? Uh, maybe I can just smite someone. Oh, maybe I could like attack with Eleanor. No, she was a bit too far. She probably does like no damage with her 6 strength. I still haven't attacked with her, you know, I said I would. Anyways... Fury is running a little bit low though. Yeah, okay, Absolution. Thanks for the crit. I guess one of the least is Kappa, I'm gonna hold off on killing with her. She should be close. Level 18, two more levels. Stats definitely aren't bad now. Still a little bit, uh, frail, but she definitely makes it up with firepower. Not exactly the fastest, but fast enough. Kill with Leandro or Edric? I should probably get Edric to cap, just so that I can see his, like, uh, final stats. Iron Bow is 21, Leandro does... The Shine, 20 times 2. Yes, it is finally time to put an arrow on Zedai's head. Well, it's more like a sword since Edric probably needs the Lionheart to survive. And yeah, of course Leandra crits. So I can't get the kill of uh, Edric, unfortunately. I guess I'll just dance for him. Why not? And then he can like go in the middle or something. I don't know. Do I just like two range with him? Maybe Dorian will move. Uh, 50 sleep. I don't want to get slept though. What does he have? Reduce bonus damage from crits. That's annoying. Look at that 83 HP. 91 and then we have... Yeah, over 100. Great. I guess I'm not gonna bury- well, I guess I can heal. Attack her for one, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, Julia's gonna come here and she shall heal- oh, I guess I gotta grab another men's staff or something. Yeah, heal Phoenix up. Yeah, I just gotta get that Sean Miley talk and see what that's about. Is that their A support? It is. Okay, I've used them every map, so I guess it is just available for the final one or something. Ah, uh, silver. Well, I guess the one I want to. It doesn't really matter who I kill. But I shouldn't use the lion heart here. Instead, I'll just use the broadsword. Okay. The one right moves. Thirteen misses. Ether. Okay, he's totally dead. Got kill for Edric right here. 99. I guess he's gonna level up from the bow guy. Yup. Oh, hopefully I didn't put Edric in range of the uh, Dorian though. Sorry, no, that's Tordred. Luck defense. Two paladins in the back, okay. But no one moves. I guess you do gotta go in range. So who do I want in range here? Probably Edric? And since these two moves, I guess the one who can fight next would be... Gris or something. Yeah, I'll just switch to Hanak since he probably doesn't double. Uh, but the one two range option would be better. So maybe Hadima. Oh, uh, should not get hit by effective damage though. 38 is quite a bit. 38, 17, 18. 
And silver oh silver sword, so I probably shouldn't use Hadima. Yeah. I guess it is Edric then who's gonna like hopefully bait two just like before since I don't wanna fight the dragon at the same time with the wretched air that does well, does it really matter for Edric? But he just, he just got a little bit lucky and dodged. Probably won't be as lucky next time. The game still hasn't told me what to do here though. <laughs> like how to get past this. Okay, I guess Edric will... Well, no, I'll just use Hilda. It's fine, Javelin. Julia will go behind? No, that's in range. I guess Katrina will just like, go here or something. I do start to take care of the ones in the back though. That's probably gonna be Alexis here. 22, 26 times through. Quite easy. I do feel kind of bad always leaving Alexis behind, but he does take care of reinforcements quite nicely. With his 1-3 range and being kind of, well, very tanky for a mage for sure. Otello, how do you do? Oh, fire 19 times 2. Blizzard is just 22. Uh, 38, so 11. So Sophia can maybe get a kill here. Has to be the Elfire, but I do have a lot of units left, so this should be okay. Do that. Dark Lands. Huh. I guess I should check what you do. What are they? Fallen Knight. Curse Weapon 18 Might. Wow. That's pretty strong. But oh well, too bad they're not going to be able to use it. Hellfire, 75 hit. Nice. Help, oh, actually almost level. That's just how low level Sophia is. Yeah, I think it will be Grit. Actually, I think Grit can take all three. So, in that case, I should get him like a, another hand axe or something. Uh, I guess I'm gonna attack with my lead. Holy Bolt almost one shots. Hurricane. The Hurricane does. But yeah, I still have like all my healers left, so this should be fine. 18 times 2. But let me get a short A support. I don't think it's gonna actually give me an item. Not interested. Only interested in food. Candle? Oh, prayer. But what is well? I guess Molly doesn't have to know what's for. It's mainly for Shorn's uh, benefit. Roland. Still don't know exactly how he caused Roland to like die who probably did die. Maybe it's in another support. <laughs> Still got plenty of you. Nice. Sean is actually not just the uh, edgelord now. Okay, maybe I'll get a crit and not get the counter. Nope. Yeah, I know that for a while, but I still like to make fun of him. Especially with that start. Mighty level up. Skill. Her skills doesn't actually matter. <laughs> yeah, because of her uh, active skill skill and not the stat skill. Uh. Never mind. Okay. If I well, I guess I can try smiting and see how much the smite does to the dragons. Of course, uh, I'm not gonna go, go like in range or something like that. Uh, 25 times two for some crit is pretty good, but I think I can deal with the dragons normally. Yeah. Okay, Chris goes 
Nope. I guess I, since Edric's not really gonna be advancing that much, I guess I could go back and just give the second hand axe to Gris instead. Something like that. Don't. Well, yeah, probably don't need a Warhammer. Oh, I should probably bring out the worst uh, Worm Slinger here, though, since they're probably effective. Do I have the other... no. Just the Worm Slayer. Oh, Dragon Spear, I have that as well. Okay, guess I can give both over. Oh no, I already traded. My bad. No, but I do want the 1-2 range, either way, so it's... whatever. Okay, Gris goes all the way up outside of Torjord's range. Something like that. Uh, this hand axe, this hand axe. Hopefully break that one. Okay, nothing in the back. Just hit over here with the Katrine to give defense. As I said, I don't want Julia anywhere near the enemy, so I'll just have her in the middle. Edema just goes beside and gets ready to attack just like Tancred. Well, I guess I don't mind if they attack Tancred. I'll just use the Cataclysm to get the kill. And then Phoenix goes up as well. Okay, Eleanor. Well, I guess I'll dance with Edric again. And he can go up. And stand behind Gris? With the iron bow? Yeah, that's fine too. Oh no, I kind of want the dragon and these two to go on spot where they can't attack Gris. Okay, so yeah, just go there, heal. Because Edric is, yeah, hurt a little bit. And though he'll probably just proc eat through. And Sean, uh, yeah, Sean at least can. Well, I guess I'll move at least up a little bit. I could hatred. Actually, does decent damage to Dorian. Okay. Why not? Free damage. I do gotta get past his HP somehow. Somehow. Okay, next time I probably go smite. Okay, and wait there. No, seriously, what's the point of these three? Oh, Gris took some damage. He didn't, doesn't get double the which is good. Hilda, on the other hand, probably could, well, no, she needs a crit. That 33 crit is pretty high though. And she gets it. EXP stealer for sure now. Oh yeah, my Conway style has a lot of stat boosters. I'm still not using them. If I do game over, I probably will use them. Even though I'm not quite sure who to use it on though. Dragon moves before the archers I see. Ooh, that 35 is pretty high. Nice crit, Grizz? Actually, is the Archer gonna kill Gris? Well, that's awkward. Oh, they'll keep going. Well, that kind of sucks for Gris, though. If I just leave it like that, I totally thought Gris would tank it, but I guess these guys do have a lot of attack and the dragon does pierce defense. I did lose the Gris Katrine support, but Gris did say this was his last battle, so it kinda is, in more ways than one, if I do uh, keep it like this. Unlike Galen though, I do feel kinda bad to let Gris die so late in the game. If it was a little bit later in the map, I probably will restart. Oh, 15 turn time limit. I did not know that. So that's why these guys aren't moving since you are supposed to push up. Does it matter where you push up though? Is it not just fast to go through the mill? 
Since I'm pretty sure the path's gonna open up if you do fight Dorian, even though he will get the sleep off. But then I can just like 3 range him to death. Honestly, with like a Miley or something. Yeah. <laughs> if this crits twice, he's totally dead. So I don't actually have to fight the guys then on the sides or something. Okay, let me try that. Then yeah, it does feel bad for Grizz. Okay, restart there. I said I would always use the stat boosters, but that was actually my bad, so... Yeah, don't have to use the stat boosters. Since I can just like do the same thing as before. Okay. Steel bow... I guess I'll speed up. Yeah. Get that kill. Alexius. Guess this kill. Do that, since I am basically using, uh, doing the same moves. You know, I think I got a couple crits in there, so... Oh, okay, got a ducky crit there. Phoenix level up. Okay, that was definitely worth the restart, for sure. Now, uh, wait, who was next? Otello? Holy Lands, yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't have to do that anymore since... Okay, that was a better, better level up than before as well. What is this? Okay, get that A support. Heal. Well, I guess I kind of want... No, I actually don't, don't quite care too much about Tordred and Fornest's quotes. But I can probably just like long range them in order to get it, honestly. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, Shorn gets the double kill here. And here. Easy. Uh, Grish just attacks. Now the sides, Tancred. Is this still 93? No, it's still- what? Why is that one 90? 85, so I guess they got stronger or something. <laughs> something like that. Still hit. Better level up speed res. I would like magic, but better than HP before. This is just a all around better outcome than before for sure. At least and Leandra can still use their siege tome, so I guess I should take this with Hadima and Edric. Oh, maybe the killer axe will do it. Let's try that. Nope, no crit. Okay. Uh I don't wait, can Elise even hit from here? I think she can. She can. 12. Zero crit though. Where did the crit go? No idea. Broadsword is the 19 line heart one shot. Uh, I guess Katrine can fight. Oh, doesn't kill. But maybe she'll get a crit so that I can use something else to. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I guess I kill then dance. Something like that. Another good look. What are these level ups after we started? This is kind of crazy. Okay. Now, Fury here. You know, I didn't want to. And now, everyone's taken care of. Julia can heal Hadima. While I dance for Elise. Use the hatred and then use the smite. And then see what happens with Dorian after. Oh, uh, yeah. Kill him first so that I do open the way. 55. Do that. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about e EXP now. Since almost everyone's like a pretty high level, except for Sophia. But even then, if I am going to fight the guys at the side, I'm probably going to smite and... Uh, Hatred them. 1644... See this quote again? Not a crit, that's fine. Oh yeah. Dorian decreases damage from crit damage anyways. But still should do quite a bit. 
No, I can also feel it here. 16, 19 if I don't want to use the hatred. But I do have more hatred though. So I guess I should hatred instead. Down to 53. Yeah, I'm probably gonna move Miley and a dance for her. And then she's just gonna like a two shot. Well, hopefully crit. Throw in twice and kill him. And if not, I'll probably just smite again. Gonna mend, and that's it for turn one again. No one's gonna move since I'm no one's in range. Okay, just the two paladins. Okay, do what I did last time, Alexius Thunders. Get the stack kill. And then who was oh yeah, Otello and Sophia. Wow. Otello just straight up doubles now because he got speed. 18, do that. And fire should kill. Yep. Don't even need a chance with the elf fire. Okay, back on the same turn. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna still go left and right since I still need a little bit of time to get... Yeah. Actually, no. I could probably do it now. Okay, support there. Get the A support. Wait. Dance. Okay. I guess I'll move Sean in for the support first. And Kiss of Death here. 48 crit, 16. Even if it's only like double damage, it still kills. Really? No crit? Okay. Then I guess it's gonna be just might. And then maybe you could. Okay, no crit. Julia's kill then from long distance. Sorry, I just wanna try this. Even though I could probably just rescue. And use the longbow for Edric to get the kill. I think that's fitting. Killing Dorian like this, honestly. Yeah, and since a lot of my units aren't actually moving, that would probably be the funniest way to do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna rescue... wait there... Att well... If I do get through here, I do. I should deal with the paladins if the way does open. But first I'll see what happens, since I still have a lot of uh, you, uh, my units turns. Take out the longbow... 18 damage. No talk. That's fine. Just thought I thought? Okay. I'm pretty sure the other two are also gonna do that when they die. <laughs> Another good level. A path is cleared in the middle, but you still gotta go to the side. Wait, what's the point? I mean, this place doesn't open. So why would you ever need to go through here if you can just like walk through one side and get to the end? Huh. Interesting. Oh well. That's fine. At the very least I now know. Okay, I just gotta give like a hand axe to- Whoa, I kinda missed my chance. Oh well. Instead I guess I'll use the- Whoa, the holy axe probably isn't that good against these guys. With their swords. But I did like Hilda over here facing these four. For sure, so I guess I'll take, drop here, come over here, trade her item away, kind of forgot to do that, but yeah, Julia can do it for me. Javelin, go back here, this time, will not have Katrine standing behind, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Phoenix, Torque. Tancred with the Cataclysm. And just bait these guys closer and then I think I will just player phase the the rest or something. Okay. And at least gonna stay here. And not waste another hatred. Four damage. How the hell did the Silver Bow do eight though? Wait, the other guy moved in, no, he couldn't attack. Sure. 
Okay, two javelins hit. Should speed that up. Yeah, the two archers didn't move. That is actually very annoying. Betrayal, 54 damage. Axe. Hilda totally survived that though. But yeah, these guys are... Actually, I'm... oh no, they can cross over here, so I should deal with them. I think it's gonna be Alexius plus Dance to kill these two. Lightning? Oh, close. Okay, Thunder. Nice crit. Yep, since, the, since this is kind of a new turn, I guess I won't uh, skip. Skip the animations, keep them going. 31 luck. Alexius is a lucky boy. Okay, like dance. So I guess uh, the left side, I do have to face the dragons plus the archers regularly. Or something like that. Well, no, if I take down, no, if I do go in range, then yeah, Torch is gonna kill someone. But, Shorn? Does not have weapon triangle because this is a lance. Okay. I was hoping he could kill the Kingslayer, but that's, yeah. If he gets hit, I'd rather him not get slept or something like that. Guess I can... Holy Lance again. Oh, that 2% crit though. Well, I can probably just surround Sophia. Oh, no, that's a spear. That's why there's the crit. Miley's just outside of range, but I can probably shove her with Edric or something. So Miley can take down one. I can probably move in Sophia first for a chip. She faces no crit. 50, 38. And then attack here with the Holy Lands. 41. Okay, that works out. Yeah, I am gonna kinda waste Edric's turn, but that's okay. He was stuck in the middle anyways. Ouch. Got that level up though. Magic skill. Mm-hmm. More magic's nice. Uh, holy lance like that. <sighs> the kiss of death is actually a break soon, so I do have to hum on it. Phoenix can't make it. Oh, I guess I can try smiting. I do gotta go right to do it, but that's fine. I don't think Leandro has to attack this turn. No crit. I'm trying to think of a way to not use the Kiss of Death. The way to do it is probably to rescue, but no one else can rescue her except for Hilda, but I'd rather she go up. No longbow. Actually, I could just trade for a longbow then. Yeah, if I don't want to use the Kiss of Death then. Yeah, just trade this longbow. Goodbye, longbow. Take the holy bow. And shove. And get the kill. Just 18 damage. I'm too used to the other bow's uh, damage for sure. My level up 16. 20 strength Miley, 28. Oh, that's good Miley. Actually a good Miley at the end. Two dragons. Well, I can bait one with just one. Hilda does have the. Does she have the health? I don't know if she has the health to survive both. 34, 37, 13. Exact kill, but with Katrine behind Hilda, I think she survives. As long as uh, Hilda doesn't kill the other archer, which well, shouldn't be that hard. Since they are going to like get in, in each other's ways. Okay. I guess I guess that demon will go first then. Get that kill. Yeah, hopefully this time I survive. What are these level ups? RNG favors for starting great. Fabulous. Okay, Holy Blade, my thing also doesn't one shot, but I guess the extra stats will make sure that, yeah, Hilda will survive. And 
and she dodges, so yeah, she's definitely fine now. I guess I can also give Gris a legendary weapon, but I think he can only use lances. Oh no, he can also use the uh, axe. He can use the wound maker? I did not know that. Okay, I guess I'll trade it over. Katrine, Windmaker, take away the... Uh, I guess the barrier, since I'm not using it. And trade it over while healing. Goodbye, Warhammer. Actually, the Warhammer should be effective against Toy Dread. So I guess I'll just take away the Hand Axe then. Okay, I should heal. That 4 HP could be... Yeah, Gris just died by like 1 HP. This should be better. Oh yeah, Alexius still has to get his second attack off. Almost forgot about that. Fifteen turns, that's quite a bit though. Since there aren't that many enemies past like the initial ones over here, the ones in the back are kind of spread out. So it should be okay. Sean, King, Ma well, okay, 41, 36 grit. Zero chance to hit back. Nice. And then Gale Force back afterwards. Yeah, the main thing is just to bait the dragon closer so that I can't fight it. And the uh, snipers too, at the same time. Can I attack up to there? Should be fine, even if I go here. Little Gris. With the extra, extra stats, he does have 32 defense. These guys will do... 5, 6. 11, 34, 45. So, yeah, he should have survived this time. And hopefully the dragon attacks from one range. That would be great. Okay, let's do it. Should not be in... Toydred's range, I believe. Nope. That's, uh, yeah, too far. Oh, I guess I should push Katrina so that she is closer to give that defense. And the rest will probably stay where they are. I guess Julia can physic for me, why not? I do have, like, what, two more physics in the convoy? Don't need to save it, especially for the last map. You know, I'm pretty sure after I defeat Sadar, something else is gonna happen. But I do gotta get to him first. And that should be it. I guess I'll move at least at one and done. There's the dragon. I can't counter the archers now though. Which is fine. Ouch. Does get attacked. 5 damage there. How about Hilda? I forgot that I was supposed to use Katrine to help, but yeah, the Mind Fang does make it so. Hilda doesn't die. You know, that's still a little bit scary. Dragon back here. Yeah, let me see how much the word hurricane does. Oh, only 25? Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? Or is this 125? I'm pretty sure that's just 25 damage. How about the Sephiris? From 3 range. 47 times 2. Easy. Sorry, Miley, but Alexius has uh, this kill right here. From safety 2 with 3 range. Goodbye, dragon number 1. I'm pretty sure the worm slayers and the other weapons are effective. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Holy Lance does 28 times 2. Electric is here. Let me see how much he does. Nine heart. 39 times 2 is also pretty good. Sophia can only attack the... Yeah. Monster from 2 range, which I don't want. And... 
that case, how does Phoenix look? 29, okay, I guess I'll get the kill here with Phoenix. 100 hit, yeah, with the staying near Edric. Goodbye, this bone walker. I guess I should also attack the one in the back too. But I guess I will start with. Oh, uh, do I want to get the kill with Otello or someone else? Like Cataclysm should do quite a bit. Seventy-one times through. Yeah, I guess I'll do that instead. Since after this is actually more power than some tank crit won't be able to attack as much. And since if the dragon does 34 damage anyways, might as well pick someone who has more defense. But they're all gonna get healed afterwards anyways. Okay, 91. Almost another level up for tank crit. Foreigners with the betrayal. Yeah, probably I'm gonna use Holy Blade, Silver Sword. Well, either way, probably won't do us that much. Because, uh, yeah, Fortnite probably has cap defense right there. I could kill her axe, but Fortnite can go here. So I should just use. Yeah, he'll do it to get the kill. Okay, Julia will heal here. Goodbye, men. And Leandra's gonna heal Tancred. There's still the left side to worry about. But I think Shorn should be okay to tank. As you know. I guess it'll be Gris then. Yeah, Gris with the with the weapon triangle. But let's go Shorn. King Slayer, 25 oh 31 quiz in that high. Three damage is a big no-no. Gris with the Windmaker does 42. That's a kill. But I don't have any heals of healers left except for Eleanor. I don't think. No, I don't have a physic, unfortunately. Well, either way, first I do have to deal with the Bone Walker. Oh, wait, there's still an archer up here. That's annoying. Sorry about that, excuse me. No, but Gris is just, just gonna go up and kill this guy. So that doesn't matter. Well, for now, I guess I'll just use this. The Kali Kuraga should give me a crit. And then think about what to do afterwards with Gale Force. A little bit of EXP. I can attack this boss, so I should attack the dragon from range, honestly. <laughs> I am running a Furies, I gotta say. 23. No crit. No, 19. Speed. Okay, speed. Yeah, I actually don't have anything that I can do there. But it's not like I need Edric over on that side, so he could come on this side, get danced. And maybe I'll give Edric the Lance Weaver and then he can fight a uh, Tordred, honestly. Yeah, and if I am gonna use a. Uh, no, 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 Gris is just gonna do it. It's just that much easier. I just want someone else to kill the dragon from 2 range. And Edric is probably the best at doing it since. Alexis is too far, and I can't reach, at least unfortunately. So yeah, it is probably gonna be Edric. Wait, wait, there, just got dance. Oh, this is also a chance to finally use the Worm Slayer, I guess. Instead of Lionheart. No, but I have the two range. 17 times 2. Okay, Lionheart it is. Yeah, I forgot I can't step in there or else I would just done with Shorn. 
take that guy down. Very little EXP though. Compared to like the others. Okay, Sean goes back. And I think I'm gonna take out a mend. Yeah, put the hand axe away, take out the mend stuff. Actually no, why not recover? Why not? It's full use. Haven't used it yet since I haven't needed it. Might as well. Plus 80. And then send in the Gris. Actually, War... No, Windmaker. Ooh, that's not as high here as I, as I would have hoped. But everyone should survive a bow. Nope. That's fine then. Oh, I def definitely should like start way to change to the Warhammer. Strength res. Speedy. Whoa, Chris is just overall good unit. Too good. Okay, like I was saying before, I think I... Oh, the hammer could be good too. Well, not a hammer, but like the heavy spear, armor slayer and all that. But I just already moved, so it's all, it's all good. Okay. Do that. Yeah, Leandra doesn't have her story, but Julia does. So it should be fine. Okay, and then next turn I'm gonna attack both uh, the guys on the left and right with two range weapons since they only have the one range options. 37. Since I do have to move a little bit fast, as I do have a time limit. Okay, a demon's probably not gonna do any, any damage, but that's okay. Run up, Sophia runs up too, and now Tello's gonna cross over and be on standby as well. Okay, next turn. 29, okay, 45 hit is a little bit too high. Who killed the wife? Oh, it's the dart. But why are you fighting for him then? I think that's a Berserk. Yep, that's a Berserk. What's going on here? Ask to sleep. Oh. Ouch. At least that wasn't a crit. So the effect, well, it makes sense that the effect will happen before. Oh, wait. Well, Hilda got hit. Now that also feels bad. And reinforcements from there too, I see. Okay, maybe I've been playing a little, little bit too recklessly. But these guys are super annoying actually. So instead of, uh, three range, well, hatreding and smiting Dorian, I should do it to the guys at the side. Yeah. I don't know. I can probably also just run in and, like, two range them to death instead. I turned five already, so, I, yeah, I do got hurry a little bit. But, yeah. Shout, shot, and shout, shot here. So you probably don't want to be low health when you run in. Okay, lots of work for Elise and Leandra to do, but I do gotta restart on again. But this time I am just gonna, yeah, speed up things. This is definitely not a bad final chapter though. It's just that I've been underestimating the enemies for sure. But I do like my initial plan still. Yeah, I'm just doing the same as before. It's just so much easier. And I don't think I made any mistakes here. For sure. Okay, oh, wait, that's not a kill. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I, I used the Sephiroth. Yeah, it's that restart, too. Yeah, I think that's another restart. Uh... Okay. I think I am getting a little bit lax since I do allow myself to restart. Definitely would probably take this a little bit more seriously if this wasn't Iron Man, but then I probably wouldn't be having as much fun. For sure. Kill there, same thing here. 
Okay. So, since Dorian puts people to sleep, I do want to three range get out of the way and then kill or something. So that, yeah, that, that should be mighty. That means I shouldn't use the kiss of death as much. Yeah, Furnace doesn't get the crit this time, which is fine. Tello gets the kill, Holy Lance just like before. That was skill. That was not as good level up, but yeah, I shouldn't expect like the level up from the second time around. I knew that I was gonna restart when that happened. Oh, I didn't heal this time. Ah, that's fine. I'll just heal a little later. Since uh, I still think a lot of my guys aren't gonna get uh, much action next turn. Oh yeah, attack here, holy axe. And then, what was it again? Oh yeah, the Medusa's at the side. Okay, this time have higher hit on this guy, so that's done. Just HP, okay, back to those level ups I see. I see. Oh, and I guess Hilda this time can just, yeah, go straight up and kill the others as well. Now I should be fine with the Holy Blade. Okay. Dance, I can dance there. Edric. Yeah, I'll just take one of them down with Edric, it's fine. Got that ether. Oh, he had to use two shots, interesting. Okay. Uh, Absolution, 24. And then kill the axe. Well, silver axe should kill. It does. Don't even need to kill the axe uh, crit. Strength, skill, that's fine. Dance. I do not want to be in range there. Oh, shoot, I can't reach uh, them. That's okay. Oh, wait, I still have Leandra. Since I'm not gonna smite Dorian, I just guess I'm just gonna heal them. And then I'll shell physical Tello. And yeah, that's it. For turn one. Nice dodge, Hilda. Well, she probably survives all three hits. Sorry, all four. But it's only three. Next is this side. Yeah, I think this is just gonna be Edric. Who, uh... Fights all four of them. Something like that. Lionheart? Oh yeah, I should check the shell shot range. So attacks up to there. Oh, I would've been fine if I actually didn't go that far. And then just baited Tordred out. But like I said, I think I am just gonna play a phase him. Not deal with those status effects for sure. Do that. Do the same as before again. Elfire. Uh yeah, I'll blizzard. Makes it easier for Sophia. The one that I'm actually training now. Okay. Here I can probably javelin. And I'll get the kill with someone else. Oh, never mind. Hilda got the kill. Counter these two while feeling outside of the Fornessu range. Oh, wait. 37. 13. No, 35. Oh, where's Katrine? I just gotta like, move her right, right behind Hilda. Okay, gotta rescue. Something like that. Take drop. And Hilda should be fine. 47, 35, okay, that guaranteed 35 for damage. 37, 24, 11, survives with 1 HP, if my calculations are correct. And yeah, the rest can just like stay back. Oh yeah, got the support, pop that, since I do want that to be the same. And dance for Miley. Sean goes right here. Miley can reach and can kiss the death. Maybe she'll get a crit this time. Crit. Okay, yep, that's one. Not a kill though. Do I actually kill her if Miley gets hit? It's 50. 13 res. Wait, 
gets doubled? No. So if she dodges, then... She uh, counter kills. I'll even give her the hurricane. Just to get the increased stats, and if I have to, I'll uh, restore her. And then the rest can stay where they are. Okay, and that turn, speed up a little bit. Get that kill. Nice level for Edric still, good. That crit, 35 damage, oh, zero. Huh, so it does zero if it's a non-legendary weapon. Well, it is also because the javelin kind of bad. Wait, what? How'd that kill Hilda, though? I'm pretty sure it calculated. Oh, enemies deal less damage, my bad. I totally thought, uh, yeah, Alice took, uh, less damage. Wow, I'm restoring quite a bit. That is quite annoying now. I don't want to just keep relying on Smite. That just seems uh, way too lazy. Way too lazy. Like, this part isn't even that hard, since I do have pretty good units. It's just that I've been trying to like do the same thing. Is that booster time? Not yet. Since, uh... The only stat boost that I can think of is maybe like HP on Hilda, HP on Gris, but even then, yeah, I, I think the best way is just the player phase, and maybe smiting and then rescuing and dropping backwards at the same time. But I'll see. Okay, last try, I guess. Before I do, just like uh, change things up. This is taking a while, and there's still like probably a part two to do as well, and I might have to restart for that as well, which will be quite annoying. That I actually like to attack with Sophia instead of healing with her quite a bit, since that does free up my other units to do other stuff. Uh, do the Gris thing, and then Tan Crit thing. 6190, okay, this seems like the same thing as before. Hilda. No, I think I should do this instead of Javelin. It's just more of a guarantee kill against these guys at the front. Over here, I guess I should start baiting these guys actually. At the very least two. But Edric, well, maybe I don't need Edric here. Depends on what happens. Yeah, with the killer axe for sure. No crit, help a lease. Aura. Oh, I guess I should like Aura here. Got the crit. That means Edric can go forward and bait these two with the Lion Heart. And dance here. And then the rest can heal for me. Since a lot of my units to get uh, injured this time. Oh, never mind. Uh, Flux doesn't double. Fury doesn't kill. Okay, let's try for a crit again. That didn't happen. Okay, that's fine. I just, uh, yeah, kill with uh, Leandra. With a Shine Tone. Get that passive healing in, I guess. And I guess I don't have to Physics since I can just, yeah, mend from one range. Okay, enemy phase. Nice dodge. Both of them are taken care of. Nice skeleton's gone. No 18. Okay. I guess I just wait to turn and kill a skeleton. Or I can rescue backwards. I'm not that scared of Fornus, but I can't kill these two at the same time. So I guess I do adjust the weight backs. You know I don't like doing that. But whatever. Since I said this was the last time I tried this that combo. So I should at the very least. Make sure I don't do anything too reckless. 
Then, oh, I'll get the support afterwards. Between Sophia and Otello, it's fine. That's done. I guess that in Cataclysm. <laughs> oh, gets doubled and there's crit as well. Never mind. Hilda stays out of range there, but gets just javelins. Nice crit. Okay, time to heal. Like that. Strength res. Strength and res. Okay. And over here. Oh, I guess I'll just give Gris the javelin. Should be better than the hand axe for sure. Yeah, I don't want to keep that on him anymore. I actually put all those weapons away since I'm not even using them. Uh, where's my javelin? Whoa, I guess I'll. No, javelin. It's not like I had to kill them. Just gotta make sure they like get in range and kill. Whoa, get closer. Get the support there. Do what I did before. Since I did like doing that for sure. Uh, dance, smiley, attack here, kiss the death, fifteen. Crit. Nope, no crit. No crit. Okay, fifty-three. I guess I'll. Well, goodbye, men. And Phoenix goes up. Oh no, Leandro went backwards. Maybe I should put Leandro beside Miley, but that's okay. I guess her Dima is not really doing anything right now, so she can trade the hurricane for me. Like that. Oh yeah, I said I would smite, so I guess. Oh, but I don't have to waste the spawn the dragons. You know, I do will have to take another turn, but I don't think the last part's gonna take me that long to get to. Like a uh, Zidart, and I'd rather probably smite the Shadow Shots, honestly. Okay, 31. Of course, Gris dodges everything now. Hilda still gets hit, but then quits back. 75 hit is pretty good. And my got hit. Got that level up skill. Skill defense. Okay, so I can 2 range Dorian now. But I do got Restore. And yeah, since I'm actually not pushing- well no, I should take care of them. I can dance- oh shoot. I can't dance for uh, Alexius two times anymore. Well he probably survives an attack the phase. Yeah he does. Hmm... Oh no, I can just shove uh, uh, Eleanor. Yeah, that's fine. Since, like I said, I'm not actually pushing up this turn. Okay, do that. Oh, that's a good level up. Everything except for defense and red. It's a good thing I got that. Uh, Shorn can shove for me. I don't know. Dance here. Finish off the other one from three range. Easy. Uh, back over here. Since uh, the dragon does damage anyways, I guess I'll just use Hilda to attack. Oh, she doesn't kill though. Phoenix cannot reach. Otolo can definitely take her one. It's just that the other one I might actually have to smite. Which does feel kind of bad. Oh yeah, I also do have to restore. I'll probably be cut train. So I shall do that. Since someone has to do it. This stuff is down to six uses. This is fine. That's one crit. 30 damage. And I think Elise should be able to kill. 13, 14, flux. Okay, 10. Ah, I'll give Elise the kill. Goodbye, Dorian again. He's just the easiest to take care of. Nice level up. I still don't quite. I'm not sure what the belt section is for. Okay, I am, I am kind of running out of units, but I guess first it's gonna be Hadima. Actually, no. Hadima just probably doesn't want to face the dragon. But now I do have Etric and Gris here. 
Uh, but Hidima can't do anything on the right. So that doesn't really matter. I guess it'll be Tanker who fights the dragon. Dragon only has 9 crit, so it shouldn't uh, crit Tanker then. Wait. He might get doubled because this thing is heavy. Cataclysm 20. No! 20 minus 10. 17, 7 speed. Yeah, just 8 speed. So Tanker doesn't get doubled. So Tanker can tank for me. While holding the Cataclysm. Since he needs the Cataclysm to not get crit. I think I'm at the rescue Hilda after I attack. Since I do stuff with Tello and Sophia to kill with. And Leandra's backup. Okay, but let me see if I crit first. That nope. Okay. Uh, let me holy lance this guy. Yeah, I risked a two percent death. I didn't think that would actually hit me. Okay, Phoenix will pick up. Julia will try to kill after the support. Get that hit rate up a little bit, I think. 93 hit. That's good. No magic this time, but oh well. Okay, uh, Julia doesn't really have to heal anymore. Well, Hilda needs to get healed, but no one else can take drop. So I'd rather not have... Yeah, Hilda just being held for a turn. And over here, I guess I will just use a demon. Get an Iron Axe, or never mind. I guess I'll just use Jakari then. Since no effective damage from bows. Oh, her demon skill. That's nice. Strength speed. Finish this guy off. Holy axe. Skill. Okay. And I guess I will use the lion heart against the drag. Actually, I guess I'll just use a bow. Since I don't have to kill him. Oh, and I can even heal. Yeah, next turn I'll start smiting, I think. 34, 14 times 2. I was hoping for an ether, but I guess not. 67. Crit? Nope. That's a lot of damage. Dragging the back like before, but... Yeah, just like before I am, just gonna Sephiris. One shot. Easy. So much easier than this side, I gotta say. Okay, Holy Lance does 27. Easy kill there. Now how? Well, if I just beat him all the way, then yeah, that's fine. You know, this feel kind of bad, but this time I can use maybe use the Warhammer. You know, I'm pretty sure Chris is still gonna get hit. Same with whoever I put on this side too. But the best way is probably still held it with the sword, honestly. Just gotta make sure it's outside of sh uh, shell shot, which it is. Barely. I guess I got. Whoa. I got. I do got a rescue dropper. But I am gonna put her in range. Since Eleanor is a little bit out of position to do that for me, Tancred can not pick up. Oh, then I guess I shouldn't have attacked with Tello so soon. That's my bad. Oh, but I do want to bait Fornest this turn. Well, since I can't bait him, I guess I am going to smite him. Yeah, maybe I'll get the crit and see how much health he has. No crit. That's fine. Oh yeah, what's the skill again? Resolve. Okay, that's fine. Well, maybe since I attacked him, he'll move. That would be great. Julie, oh, I don't have a regular staff. Uh, I guess I'll just take Sophia's. Since Hilda doesn't need as much healing, I don't think. And Julia's heal just heals more straight up. Okay, and a Phoenix. At least I guess I'm also gonna come here and drain. Oh wait, I can't get in range. What? No, uh, probably a little bit too far. Oh no, it's fine now. Hatred time. 
Oh, nice crit. Down to 15, so I can definitely kill him next turn. Probably with tank grid. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, I guess Katrina will have to come here and heal Edric. Since no one else can reach. King Slayer the Dragon. Yeah, that looks pretty good. No crit. No crit. Okay. Uh, if I do dance for, I guess I'll dance for, yeah. Zephyrus. Miley cannot reach. Gris has to get out of the way, but I also want to... Oh no, I can just bait from this space. Yeah, that's fine. Equip the Warhammer. Wait, wait. There, heal first. Before I attack the dragon, since I'm paranoid. Not in full health, but that's fine. Okay, Hadima, you should do damage to Silver Axe. Yeah, 11. Since she does, does have a lot of strength. Sunny one. I guess all my healers are kind of stacked from the left, right side, I mean. But honestly, I can probably kill no problem over here with the units that I do have still. Tax Gris in the corner. And he does get hit. That's fine. I do want to see how much the Warhammer does, though. And do these have Shadow Shot? They do not, but they probably do, like, massive damage. Well, I can just, like, block the wave with someone. You know, I'm probably gonna be in Shadow Shot range here. But I don't actually have to go that way anymore. Since after I, like, open the path, I just probably just, like, storm right and just go to Zadard. Like, why would I even want to fight the left side if I don't want the EXP? Which I don't really want right now. Sean, how much do you do? 10 dam- only 10 damage. Lionheart does 23, 31. Alexia's time. Doesn't- oh yeah. I think- yeah, Torch is the one who has the skill, can't get- Yeah, cannot double or be double, very fighter. That means I do want to crit with someone. Ignite looking pretty good, but I guess I do want to try this at first. Yeah, I don't think Alexis cares about the Medusa. Oh, I think I'm gonna take a Bolting from Edric actually and have a long range fight against the Medusa actually. Do that. Oh no, not shove. Almost uh, made a mistake there. Lionheart 23, shell shot shoots up to... Okay, so I can safely do... Wait, no. But then I'll be in the way of Katrine's healing. And we... Oh no, Sean can just move out of the way, actually. Okay, let me see if I can get a crit here. Oh, okay. Ether just... Yeah, just finishes them off. Easy. Kind of. There we go. I just, I just had to take it a little bit slower to kill them. And not forget about Shadow Shot. Oh, 19, 26 luck. And it is indeed the dot dot dot. The middle path opens. So the paladins are there. Wait, so don't I don't actually go up the sides? Huh, that's interesting to know. Wait, these guys have 3 range. Stone. Okay, dude. They do have stone. Okay. If I didn't kill, I was probably just gonna... Yeah, use the Warhammer or Gris. In that case, I do gotta see what paths open then. When I do kill uh, Fornas, which is definitely gonna be able to smite. Yeah, this space is fine. Smite here. Hopefully it hits. Yep, that means it's a hit. By for Ness. Got that level up, level 18. Okay, just HP. Now what? The back side opens. Just the one side though. So yeah, I don't actually have to care about the Medusas. 
These guys have Dark Sword, Dark, dark Lands. Since I moved a lot of my guys already, I guess I should just chill for a little bit. I have to move Shorn. Oh no, Shorn can probably just go like right here. And bait one over to him with the Lance Reaver. Yep, like that. And then I shall restore Grizz. Speed that up a little bit, like I said, since I waste a lot of time uh, restarting. Eleonora cannot dance for anyone important, unfortunately. I don't want to get stoned, so I should just move out of the way. But the one who will bait this pile then is probably going to be Hilda. Actually, Phoenix will probably do pretty well here too, since it is a lance and everything. I can go here to like block the way. Yep, Infernus. Okay, just gotta go one below Sophia and I should be safe. Uh, Sophia goes like that. Tanker should be okay here. And the rest also like, uh, make my line like that. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. Maybe the, well, maybe the back paladins don't move. And that's, that is fine too. Okay, and since I don't have to, yeah, dance, I'll actually heal with Eleanor. That double checking. Okay, that's not outside of Paladin range, but this is. Okay, speed that up and done. Oh yeah, Otello. Uh, you can go like right here. Molly and Demon can, well, should I rescue Edric out of the way? Well, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, since Molly can't rescue. Yeah, she's just, yeah. Alexius. Oh, a lot of people, but yeah, Alexius and Azure are probably too heavy for her. 22 damage. She one actually does quite a bit back. No crit though. And the Lancer here only has one use left. Doesn't he attack Phoenix? And he gets it. Oh, nice crit though. Okay, next on the smites are the shell shot. I probably not gonna use on to dart. Magic, that one magic phoenix. Okay, the paladins do move. That makes my life so much easier. Nineteen hit stone. That's kind of bad. If I don't want to, I probably can just ignore the Medusas. Okay, got those guys moving along. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I think I think it's time for, to finally use the broadsword again. Broadsword is not effective. What the hell? Yeah, thirty-seven, and these guys have seventeen. Yeah, why is the broadsword not effective against Fallen Knights? Protection of the Sleeping God or something. But I don't know, I just feel like using the broadsword. Yeah, why is it not effective? Oh well, at the very least, I drew his health back. And now I'm 34 and I definitely would've been through this a lot faster if I didn't mess up. Okay, guess I'll thunder. Doesn't matter if it's not a kill since I still have so many people. Redeem a kill here. Oh, uh, yeah, didn't bring a sword either. So not a kill since they both have swords, it looks like. Okay, so I guess it's Shorn. Silver sword? Actually, I, I might as well, yeah, Silver Sword. And then on the right side, it will be dealt with the right people. Level 15. Let's go look. That should be cap speed. I don't think that's cap... Oh no, that's also cap skill. Okay. Hopefully for his last couple levels, he'll get some pretty good ones then. Yandra can probably... 
Oh, spike from the right side, but I think I'd rather go through the center. And then I can like dance or twice to attack both the left and right Medusa at the same time. Uh, Hilda... Does quite a bit of damage. Or oh, just a regular lance. And she kills. Ah, uh, that's okay. Okay, next up, Julia. Oh, I guess I should ch also check if there are, like, shadow shots in the middle. There are the eyeballs, but they don't shoot as far. So the ones that are in the way are definitely the Medusas. Let's I'll move Phoenix over here. Uh, heal him while getting closer. And the rest can move up. And yeah, I'll defeat the Medusas when they're a little bit closer. Or I could just use Shorn to do it. Since he can just gale force up afterwards. That does mean that he should not get hit though. Which shouldn't be that much of a problem. Even if he does get hit, he probably doesn't, doesn't die with his... Yeah, not that bad HP. Sophia can go there. Miley up there. Gris is going to stay in the back because it's a little bit too slow. Edema can go all the way up. Should be fine. And now, can you hit? Still, okay. Guess I'll heal Gris, why not? And then I'll dance for... Yekatrine. Yeah, okay, and that turn... Ah, okay, those guys are also moving. 18 stone, that's a miss. Oh, Demon Surge, and up stoning. Nice. Dogs and paladins from the backside, great. I have eight turns to make it. But yeah, if I just push up one side, I should be fine. While well, ignoring the other side, actually, so I don't actually have to deal with the shell shot, I don't think. Uh, this one I probably do. But since the Andrew is closer to the right, I guess I should like shell shot the right one. But that doesn't mean I do have to deal with uh, all the enemies here. With their kind of crazy attack. If I do attack, how do I rescue backwards? Oh, it's out of range. I probably can't. Okay, let me see. Tomahawk, Silver Axe, Lethal Talon. I think I do want Gris all the way up. But he is uh, a little bit far back though. Okay, well Hilda shouldn't take that much since her defense is pretty high too. But yeah, I think it is going to be Shorn. He's going to one-shot these two. And then just, okay. I'll deal with the Paladin some other way. That... I guess I can also smite. How many more smites do I have? Nine. Yeah, I think I want to make a wall. Edra can go up here. Broadsword is fine. I think I'm going to dance with Gris. Gris can go here, get danced, while Hilda goes like right here with the... Well, since they... Well, the Holy Blade should be, yeah, good enough. They do have axes. Even if they two range, not all of them can two range. Okay, Katrine. I guess I'll use Spirit Bond. Why not? Okay, dance with Gris. He's gonna hold on to Holy Axe. Okay, that's my wall. Yeah, the main person is probably gonna be Leandra. And she is gonna shout shot one and well, depends on where I wanna move. Left or right. It doesn't actually matter which way I go, as long as I actually stick to it. I think Alexia should be fine here. Same with Miley should be fine here. Uh, so, uh, might as well Holy Bow it. Actually, unlike Alexius... Wait, no. Only one person can attack the spot. Oh, but Elise might be in trouble. So that's a mistake, so I'll rescue her back. Yeah. 
Miley, on the other hand, should be fine here. Guess I'll just take drop with Sophia. Okay, uh, trapped here a little bit, but this should be fine. As long as I kill all of them. Let's go for Hilda. Zero hit, nice. That zero hit. Is it because of Alexia's support? It might be. The Holy Blade is running out. Are they all gonna go for Hilda? I was gonna say they might break the Holy Sword, but she keeps critting then. Yeah, I should have a couple uses left at the end of the turn. Oh, goes for Edric. There's the effective damage that I want to see. Unlike if it gets the Paladins for some reason. What's up the target switching? 36, one more. Oh, doesn't double. That's fine. It's just the three guys left. I guess we're at Paladin. Well, I might have to rescue Shore now. But I think I am going to switch it up. Yeah, have uh, Edric, Gris, and Hilda go to back now. Thanks for a small path. Four more Paladins in the back, great. Okay, which way- well, it doesn't matter which way I go, since they all have the same units. But yeah, one way. Seven turns left. Uh, the Andrew can smite from here. That's still in Alexia's range. I can smite Siddharth. <laughs> I can actually just smite and kill Siddharth. What the hell is that BS right there? I kind of do want to do it like the regular way, since I still have 7 turns left. And if I have to, I can just dance Leandro and then like smite twice. But for now... Yeah, I guess I'll go right. No crit. That means I just gotta do it once more. My dancer is right here, so that's completely fine. Speed that up a little bit and move up. Is that in range of Paladin? Is is. So I'll just smite here. Okay, so the right side's safe now. Well, except until the eyeball, but the eyeball can only shoot like right here. So it should be fine. Dark Sword, Lance. So they do us with uh, different weapons, so I do have to like uh, rescue Shore now. But they are gonna waste all my weapons if I do just like f face all of them. Well, I guess I'm not too worried. Either way, I guess I'll start with the aura, which doesn't crit. Great. Phoenix. 24 times 2. I guess I'll finish off this guy. The Medusa. Okay. That, that range is okay. Oh, yeah. I still have Alexius. Alexius can probably also take a Paladin. I guess I'll do that, get that kill, except, especially with the supports around him. Okay, Hadima. That's a kill, but kind of bad hit. But I think it's the best she has. Level up, 7 defense res. Yeah, I think... Oh... The Leandro Alexia support should be enough. So Hilla can't probably go back and face the dogs and then everything here. Man, do they do a lot of damage. Chris can probably use the Halberd. No, but I think I'd rather have the Horse Slayer. Yeah, I'll keep Edric up here since I might... Well, I'd rather keep him moving forward. I should have the Horse 5 uses. They do deal damage to him. So I shouldn't tank all of them. But I should tank like quite a bit. Same with Hilda. Probably go like right here. 
Rhyme Fang? No, I will. I should probably take, like, the Silver Lands. From Otello. Yeah. I guess I'll do that. Trade. Oh, wait, no. He doesn't have it, so I guess I don't have a Silver Lance anymore. In that case, I might as well keep moving Hilda up then. Just sell Cyberwing to the Eyeball, and she'll be the one to face the Paladin then. Yeah, especially with the Alexia support. So, how do I deal with these guys effectively? Should be Gris with the Horse Slayer. Okay, take out the Horse Slayer. Trade the Horse Slayer. I can... No, I don't want to show. So, this is a free space for someone to go, which will probably be Sophia and then rest can... Keep going forward, like I said. Oh no, showing at the rescue. Up. Like that. And then, oh, uh, since Otel can fly, he can like stay here. Tanker can take, can drop. Oh, I'm actually out of space now. Tanker should be okay with the Cataclysm. 41. 20 damage. 10 luck. 9 crit. Yeah, he's fine. Even him, even though him getting doubled is kind of scary. But at the same time, it's better than my other units getting hit. Oh, I guess Mighty doesn't really care about getting Shadow Shot. Same with uh, Katrine. So, never mind. I can just move them up. Yep, that's okay. I can put Julia... Actually, oh no. At least it's outside of range. And I don't really mind Tanker getting attacked, so... Yeah, I'll just put, like, Gris with the Horse Slayer. Right about here or something. Actually, no. I, I do want him to face, like, two. So right here. Okay, and heal there. Hopefully I calculate the... Cataclysm, right? I should have. 11 damage is still kind of scary. Dark Sword is 7. I do have the Physic Risk. You can't, like, tank forever. Oh, that only did 14. That's fine. Getting overwhelmed a little bit. But yeah, the right side is completely open now. Let's gotta see if there are any more reinforcements. Five dogs? Okay, there are. I see. I can probably... Well, this turn nine. I think I, it is almost time for me to just smite Zadarda and see what happens. Since I am getting a little bit overwhelmed here. If I don't... If I do want to take my time. And I think it might also be time to warp staff. And check out how much uh Edric does to Zadard. 31 defense. But Edric has how much attack with the Lionheart? 20 47, so actually not that much. But I do have to depend on a couple of crits with Leandra in order to like uh, beat him. Yeah, I think I am kind of done going around now. Since I might actually do, uh, risk losing someone unless if I just like stop to destroy all of them. But it's probably better to just end it before I have to restart again. Especially with all the supports Leandra has around her right now. 70, 71 crit, wow. Is, is this the one shot? Okay, it might be a little bit anticlimactic, but let's see what happens. If this doesn't crit, then I guess I'll warp Edric up and see what happens. Great Destiny. Okay, that is a crit. Wow, a train the Yanja actually one shots the dart. T 
too late. Well, at the very least, fast enough to defeat the third, but yeah, he's definitely not dead. Skill defense. Now what? Not over yet. And the dart's in the back. Righteousness. That's a lot of enemies, and the enemies that are already here don't disappear. Do it right now. Do I still have a time limit? Nope. Uh, you're kind of alone there, Helena. Oh, but the path's open now. Okay. The so dart moves for thirty-eight defense. That judgment. Send the attack. Uh, are you supposed to be able to fight this guy normally? Luna. Oh, of course he has Luna and then Rifle God. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Julia with a rescue staff. 14 range. That means I do gotta move as your back. But I don't wanna move backwards since I do wanna keep going forward. But I do have to rescue you. Uh, hell no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can actually just rescue here. Really? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I can't. Julia can actually just rescue from the spot. With her crazy magic. I might have to use the grace. Just get everyone back to full health. And after I probably have to like fight my way, well, maybe not fight my way through, but at the very least clean up some of these guys? Or I could just unequip. But I do believe some of them have spears. No, they do not. Huh. Yeah, I can actually just unequip and then make a wall. Oh, but I should get. Uh, the Hadima out of the way before. Yeah, the rescue puts Hana in, in a kind of awkward spot. Just a little bit awkward. Okay, I'll go like right around the corner. Nothing has size to threaten. So let me grab the rescue. Now I'm gonna put away the barrier, take out the rescue stuff. I do have another one, so I guess I'll use the full use one. Staff rescue, hell no, I just gotta find her. There we go. Okay, these guys also do not have two range. So I can make my wall, so I can kill a couple of them if I really wanted to. Yeah, I do have to move Sean out of the way in order to dance for Hauna anyways. So might as well do that. Yeah, so Dari can't attack anyone this turn, so I don't have to worry about that. He does have 3 range, so he cannot go up to this spot. Okay, let me see what this talk entails. Dance there. Yeah, the guys in the back, I don't have to worry about like one or two turns. If I just like push everyone back towards the beginning. Level up. That's a good level up. A little bit late, but there we go. And talk. And I think I am gonna use the grace after the talk. Get everyone back to full. No dream, but how the hell are you here? Oh, 
Oh wait, yeah, you passed on, so how can you hear that? I guess that would be like the afterlife kind of stuff. But... Secret weakness. Time to finish this. Eternal light. Another, uh... Huh. Another staff. 1, 2 range, 20 might, 125 hit. 99 crit? Wait, what? Does Julia die from using this or something? How the hell do you use this? No, it's a light... Light tome. It's not a staff. Uh What? Okay, learned divine ability has one use. Oh, and then Helena disappears. Let me grace. But still what? What was that? Get that 5 EXP from the Grace. Everyone's back to full health, so I can just keep attacking with everyone. Leandra used I'll use her smite so she can't do anything, but I can now move everyone back down, even though I did use Elnor. Huh. Use it wisely. Whoa! Plus 20 and everything, I see. For okay, that's what the promo bonuses were for, so that. Even the base jeweler would probably do a little bit of damage to uh, Zadard. 48... 71 attack. So she's definitely gonna crit. I have no idea how much HP Zadard has. It's... Well, can I kill Zadard without the Divine Light, I wonder? I do wonder. Okay, who's gonna be up front tanking for me afterwards? Yeah, it's probably, probably gonna be Edric, and Gris, and Hilda. I don't think they're gonna suffer from success too much against these guys. Maybe they will, but not that many people can attack if I do kill everyone here. Okay, Phoenix can't go that- well, everyone can go pretty far actually. But how do I want to do this? I cannot move up to where the Cerberus is Because that's the Siddharth's range And I don't want to get too close to the Shao Shots either You know they can only go up to there I probably don't want to attack with Sophia Mari also probably doesn't want to get too close Let me see if this kills first That's a no. I think this is gonna be a Shorn kill then. Might as well use a Kalikaraga. Get that level up. Strength luck. 17 strength Shorn. Actually decent. Okay, I do have 3 range, so I think Elisa's gonna attack here with the Fury. Like that. And I just gonna be standing right here. Yeah, well his, well, his broadsword gonna break soon, but I think I am just gonna take out my other broadsword. Yeah, last broadsword been steadily using it. Okay, I could also attack with the Iron Bolt, but I think I'd rather just use the Broadsword. Especially if he does keep popping Ether, he should be completely fine. And he, if he doesn't pop the Ether, there's a yeah, pretty high chance that he's just gonna dodge. 
kind of want to attack with Hilda and Alexius last since they can do, well, pretty much kill anyone they want. Flux, Cataclysm then, to kill this Paladin. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be equipping my holy weapons, since I don't want to kill all of them. Okay, Phoenix can kill this one right here. Oh, exact kill. And then Alexius can go behind him. Yeah, like, the space to... I guess I'll ignite. Since I, yeah, save my ignites. Still have five left, even after this. Yeah, I p pushed. Well, I pushed up. Now I have to run backwards because the die did pop up in the back. And you do have to be at the top. At the, oh, that's a very good level for Ale Alexius. Level 17. Kill the Iron Lance. Oh, just straight up kills. I probably don't want that. Uh, does that mean I just jab him then? For fun. Well, anyways, I think I am gonna kill here. Open the way with Otello. Oh, Otello. Okay, doubles with the L5 good. Get that level up. More magic, more speed. Good. I still have Sophia and Catherine. I guess they can heal for 1 HP or something. But yeah, if I just jab and I can hopefully not crit with Hilda. And then Gris can kill. Whoa. I guess they will also deal damage with the javelin too. I don't want him, want him like killing everything. But I think I do want the. Dog gone, I think. Yeah, something like that. Nice crit. And then I'll attack the other Paladin with Gris. He doubles because of Hilda's support. Well, not the support, but Hilda does skill plus four speed and all that. Okay, and yeah, I don't want support. Sophia too close, so I guess I'll just Physic showing up. I'm really hoping that Zadari does move. That'd be quite helpful. And if not, I'm probably gonna move uh, Julie up and then try dancing for her. Since I do want to see what the Divine Light exactly does and how it looks like. Sorry, the eternal light. Okay, the bone guys walk first. Ooh, 17 damage is quite a bit. Oh no, and edge kits as well. Oh no. Oh no. That means he does does have to pop an E3 if he does want to live. Oh no. <laughs> Stop creating Edric. Well, I guess if I didn't want him to crash, I could like just give him an iron sword or something. Or I should like give him well no, the line heart would have broke. Yeah, maybe a bow would have been better. Okay, 16, that's nervous, good. Ether time. Okay, broadsword okay. Saved by the broadsword breaking. Let's go. Much better. I think Gris is gonna double, but Gris doubling doesn't matter too much. When the Javelin does 29 on the counter attack, because Gris is. Oh, uh, what? Plus 10 damage. The rest, I don't actually care. It's just, I want to know if Zadari moves. 
Hilda also could have died from success as well. Yeah, even for Javelin 31 Crystal High. But the damage is a lot lower. Which is a little, a little bit safer. The guys in the back also move, so it's still pretty far. Star does move, okay. I can totally take care, of, well try to deal damage to him and then see what happens. Left side, spiders. Right side, spiders? Yeah, that doesn't matter too much. Since this is gonna be my last turn. Oh, the turn limit's still there. So e even if you get to Zodaya, like what, turn 13, 14? You'll still like go backwards for him. So you do have to deal with him. Well, you either rush him very fast, or you just do what I did. And like smite, or uh, what we call it, warp. Till I get there and get back. Huh, okay. Okay, who probably doesn't do any damage to Zadard, who has, yeah, 38 defense. Probably not Miley, even with the Hurricane plus 8, 0 damage. So I guess I'll take care of one of the Gargoyles. Ah, oh, I do not want to break the kiss of death. It seems like such a waste. Gris actually does damage with the Warhammer, but he probably dies, yeah for the counter, so I probably shouldn't do that. Uh, I guess, t yeah, Tancred probably doesn't, doesn't want to fight either. But he is effective against the monsters. At least can Hatred, but I don't think the Hatred is going to do much. Oh no, that's 15. Wow, that's 15. Okay. Wait a sec. That means I should try Smiting first. 17, still decent. Let's do it. Ah, I got this music. Crit? Oh, no crit. You know it's 58. Still question mark health. Can I see? Nope. Okay, next is a smite. Sorry, hatred. Still cannot see the health. My man, why do you have so much health? Okay, 88. 88 health. Katrine probably can't do any damage. The, okay, maybe she'll get a crit there. And it's not like I... Well, I might have to heal Edric. I'm not gonna use Julia for that. Her, well, probably not Hedima. I guess I can use Gris here. No, I should use the people in the back, honestly, to like, get the kills here. Hilda with the Rhyme Fang, 17, plus 12, 49. She also does damage to Zadar, then. I don't she think she survives, though. No. But I guess I should, at the very least, check the numbers after I like, get close enough. Holy Lance is 44 times 2. But that, that'll block the way anyway, so yeah. If I am gonna do I should just use Tank Grid, honestly. Maybe that Tranquility can do it? No, not enough damage. Okay. Cataclysm it is. Right in front. Why not? I guess the Tranquility is there if you do give the Cataclysm to someone else. You know, I don't think it's. Yeah. No one else really uses dark magic as well. Well, maybe at least. But you do have to train it to us. When you, you could just be using the other tomes or something. Okay, next is the King Slayer. Kill this guy, open the path up. I don't think Sean is gonna do any damage to Zadar, and he probably dies on counter, but maybe he'll be able to dodge with his skill. Let me see... Zero damage, okay. That means I guess he'll just go to the back. Well, maybe I'll kill a dragon for fun. Nope, never mind. They're high defense, so I'll just, yeah, go around and slay this guy. What the Kingslayer. 
I am kind of blocking uh, space though. It should be okay. Since with that path, I can check if Hilda and Gris survive an attack, and Edric as well. Gris with the Warhammer. Ooh, he does survive one, but there's a crit and also the yeah. The Dublin. Wait, how much speed does he have? 31 speed. Edric is actually not fast enough. Oh, he gets doubled. Okay, that's fine. Alexius. How much damage do you do? Oh, yeah. Dirty range. Forgot about that. Julia. Attack with the Eternal Light. Don't misclick. 240 damage. Okay, you are kind of expected to one shot, but let me try getting the kill on Zadard without using Julia since I do have a way to get to Zadard now. Yeah, the way to do this is probably to dance for Leandra and hopefully she gets a crit. That's down to 45. But let me try it. Since the Andrew hit stones, uh, Alexia's support range, so it should give. Well, maybe something better this time. 1976, 648. I. No, I have not used save states uh, all game. This game is uh, not. Well, personally, I don't use save states until, unless it's like super annoying chapter. But yeah, I, I try not to use it. 19, 20, 60. Hopefully, I get crit this time. Like, if I'm playing on my own, I use it sometimes. But then, part of the Fire Emblem experience is actually, like, just going through the run. And then seeing what level ups you get, and if you just save state for, like, a certain part. You might as well just save state for, like, level ups and, and the other stuff too, and... That just doesn't feel right to me. Okay, I'm so close. I did get the Crystal, he is down to 31. Is there a way I can attack safely? Unless it, uh, unless if I just like pop the ether. <laughs> Which I don't, don't think it's happening. I could also sacrifice my units in order to get the kill of Edric. Do I want to do that though? No one has 4 range. Wait. Oh no, 50 damage just straight up kills Alexius. Hilda gives plus 4 speed, I think Edric actually doesn't get hit there. That 1% crit though, which means I do have to move some of more of the support partners in. It should be cut train. If I put her here, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, if I just move Hilda here. Give me a sec. Uh, Katrin can go here. 1, 2, 3. That means I want Edric right here. That means Hilda should be right here. I might as well use the Rhyme Fang for fun. Yeah, in the last Fire Emblem hack, I did use save states. Just so that the stream goes a little bit more smoothly, but that was the non Iron Man. And those chapters get kind of long. And I just wanted to like see it. I like this one, where I just let the people die, but also... Ah, uh, that 1% crit. Uh, Who else could benefit from the extra speed? Nope, Alexia still gets doubled. I think it's Leandro who doesn't get like... Yeah. Wait, Miley... No, she dies. 15, yeah, 59. Uh, that means I probably do have to use Julia. I'm trying to think of my other options here. Ignite does 22. 
and it doesn't weigh him down. Wait, is this physical or magic damage? This should be physical. It is, Unholy Greatsword. Oh yeah, shoot. Star the dive might also pop Luna. Actually... I think it's time to grab Siege Tomes and just fire them off. Yeah. Alexius should have the damage for it. Yeah, it was... Wait. I just saw his stats. He has cap speed, cap magic. Wow. Okay, so I shall go supply. Pull away the lightning, take out the... Not the purge, but the bolting. Fire that off. For that 14 damage. Oh, oh. I guess this is a fitting. The prince, soon to be king of another country, comes in and swoops in and kills the current king. Nice. But yeah, if you want to see uh, Divine Light in action, I'm pretty sure I know what it looks like. So yeah, you can uh, defeat the die with the Divine Light. I'm okay. And it's over, without using the Divine Light. Nope. I guess the game still assumes that you did use the Divine Light to destroy the Dard. But yeah, it, sh it should be the super long light animation with the colorful lights and then like the single beam at the end. I do believe that should be the animation for... Sorry, Eternal Light. I keep calling it Divine Light when it's Eternal Light. Yeah, I guess I should have safe state there, but I still st still feel pretty accomplished to things to die without using it. Since I am a hoarder, I hoarded all the stat boosters, I hoarded all the good weapons, and now I hoarded the eternal light. At least I'm consistent until the end. She really shouldn't fade away since I didn't use it. Let the villain die. Queen of Dawn? King of Dusk? The Tyranny of Light. I, uh, probably not referring to Edric. Even greater terror? What, like actual angels or something like that? It's also like the dragon mention, I guess, that didn't come out. Now, of course, the dark ham is gone. Oh, it's been banished. Small shot of blackness. If only restarts for abusing it, yeah, that's what I sometimes do do, but I try not to do it too much. No, oh, so only these two know that exists. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just make a different save. If I do want to, like... You know, I'm pretty sure there's no dialogue, it's just Divine Light. Adrian... Are oh, the Dukes? That we know. The Gomer Empire mentioned again. 
Julia is still alive. Two months. Okay, so two months have passed. Oh yeah, since this is the coronation of uh, Edric, it won't be that long. That would be... Arm guards. Organized ban. Okay, I did get get like a hint from the comments about what I could be referring to. Yeah, some pirates, some warriors that are like skulking around during some chapters. Looking for a dark shard, probably. Queen of Dawn. If it's the Queen of Dawn, there shouldn't be anyone in here yet. And where's Edger going? Oh, talk to Tank, right? First move. Huh. Calling it her soldiers is a little bit weird. Since we don't actually know if the Queen of Dawn is actually like a physical entity or more like a spiritual thing right now. Just like how the sleeping gods just like not actually physically in this plane and all that. So how does she affect so many people then, already? Leave. Found nothing, and that would be... Oh, it kind of sucks for Tancred. Helping all the way here and then having to leave. Also, like, uh, all the stuff that happened during, like, the Gaiden with Tordred and Zadar and all that as well. High Chancellor. Well, he's gone now. Is it him? But Dorian said something different. Ah, Morvin's journal. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay, a singer. Two weeks. Wow, two weeks. That's quite a long time. She wanted many people to die. Huh. Oh, yes, yeah, so Edric could be king. How about Edgar, though? Got that uh, turn against his mother.
for the people. Yeah, for the people. Only getting started. Okay. Ooh, turning red. Okay, that was a uh, it's well it's definitely sequel bait. But yeah. Interesting twist, but not too unexpected. Not with with the hints dropped here and there throughout the entire story. Well wow, that went by pretty quick. I mean you I'm usually used to like the credits going a little bit slower. But yeah, I guess I'll let the, at the very least like the paired endings at the very least play until I go into my thoughts about the game. Stay close friend and that's it. That's fine for an A support. It's not like all A supports have to go to like a relationship or anything like that. Oh, I guess they're gonna like alternate, okay. In that case, I I guess I'll start now. Time to open my notepad, don't mind me. Okay, I guess first... I guess the initial thing I should say is that this definitely feels like a Fire Emblem game. Scaling difficulty, the beginning was uh, fairly easy. Got a little bit harder towards the middle, not that much, still easy. The last two maps were definitely challenging, for sure, with the enemy stats being clear pretty high. But before that, yeah, your units, lots of reinforcements to get EXP. And then, yeah, they just grow enough that you can just kind of roll through the early, mid, late game until the last two maps where you definitely need higher stats in order to like get, get by, especially the last one. Of all those paladins who actually deal damage even to like a Cap Gris defense and Cap Hilda with defense as well. Yeah. Guess I'll start with that. I guess the point of it, making it easy is that you can use like all the characters. Which I was able to train everyone to level 20 so... You can also probably do the same thing so just choose the characters that you like to use. And then just keep going until the end without Leandra and like the other like mighty three range and all that. It'd probably be a bit harder to like get to the end, but not uh, not that much, I don't think. So yeah, just pick the characters you want and have fun with it, which is probably yeah one of the points of the game, which I do like. And yeah, not every game is well, not every hack is like that. Since some are hard enough that you do have to like choose a core like what ten people and then just just stick with them until the end. But I just like benched some, trained others, and by the end I did have to bench some. But I definitely got to like enjoy the different characters, which was very 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 fun. I gotta say. No, oh, yeah, gown stuff. Don't don't mind that. This is also kind of why I didn't want to safe stay at the very end since. I did lose Gaon, I did, I did lose uh, Morgana. So I already lost like some story uh, anyways, with a uh, bit of support so... Yeah, since I did... This isn't really like a walkthrough or anything, so if I miss something that's completely okay. As long as I had fun with it, hopefully you did too. But back to what I was thinking, yeah. This game also gives uh, all the characters personal weapons as well, like when they join or an important part so that you can use them which also helps with uh, being able to enjoy using everyone and as I mentioned a little bit earlier there are tons of reinforcements tons of enemies early mid game so you can just uh, yeah train everyone okay speaking of early mid game the difficult oh, definitely way too many reinforcements I gotta say I do understand it is for training purposes, but like for the defense chapter, I think it was chapter, what was it again? Uh, chapter 10? Was it? Where you were like in the middle and then got attacked from three sides. That was a little bit much, as they just kept coming and coming. But it is understandable 
helpful for a defense chapter, but even for some of the early chapters, the reinforcement just kept coming. Which isn't actually a bad thing. Since uh, even then, it's not like it's overwhelming and they mostly stopped. It's just that defense chapter that I had a little bit of problem with, but the rest were actually okay. Not too much. They came out, you killed them. You have to like stay back a little bit, but you kill them, get their XP, and then you just keep going. I personally don't mind the reinforcement too much. That one chapter though. Okay, I'll, I'll stop mentioning that now. As uh, it might make you think that I actually didn't like the reinforcements, but I do like them. Even though like the super late game ones, it made the game feel a little bit more difficult, which is a good thing since it was too easy before, but now I'm kind of going in circles. Okay, I should move on then. Yeah, stronger enemies late game, but by then, all the train units were totally fine. So you should be able to get through the game. Especially with the just like very last map, you do get Julia with the kind of one-shot weapon if you yeah, can't actually get to Zadard. And Zadard were like, first phase isn't, isn't terribly hard to defeat either. His stats aren't terribly high with only 60 health. He, do, he does have a little bit of speed, but he does only have like 2 range. And all that, so that's okay. Okay, I think it's time. No, I guess I have one more thing to say about the characters. Actually, no, sorry. Moving from the gameplay to characters, characters were actually pretty good. A lot of them have quite a bit of depth, which. I guess I felt like that because I saw a lot of their not just uh, supports but also talks. Yeah, I guess that is the point of them just building the supports like kind of passively just by being deployed and not just like standing beside each other. So that you can build them up and then after you can view them and then learn more about them in a single playthrough. Unlike like a classic Fire Emblem where you, yeah. That, <laughs> that just like standing beside each other for like a hundred turn thing is. Yeah, shouldn't be coming back or something. It's fun in its own way, but it's definitely time consuming. Unnecessarily, maybe. But yeah, a lot of the info gone through the support helps you relate to characters more, understand them more, and yeah, like the ones that you like and get some interesting tidbits. It's not, I guess, just about the characters, but also about the world too. Like, the support between Leandria and uh, Hadima. You know, I only got their C support. I was definitely interested in what happened, like in the past, with like the Empire and all that. <sighs> Don't. I just had to stop for her, Sophia and Othello. Anyways, okay. Now, after this characters, since that's all I have gotta say, their story. I guess it had the, quite the classic Fire Emblem arc, starting with the bandits and then going to the king and then an evil god. But of course it, I guess it dealt with it in more detail and more sophisticated, I think, in a, uh, in a more mature way too. With like the poli political intrigue and how like everything's also fed peace bit. Like the lore is, is fed uh, little by little so that your interest is, is kept and then you do want to keep learning more as you keep going through the game. With uh, yeah, Zadar, like why was he, he was doing what he's doing, why the bandits were helping him and ultimately learning yeah about the sleeping god, the dark amulet, Valena, the cult and all that. Well, I guess the story isn't complete. So there is that feeling there, but of course that is also for a sequel, there is one. Like even before getting to epilogue, there was like, yeah, mention of the empire, the surrounding countries, and uh, what's gonna happen after, yeah, the war is over. That is never like uh, completely tackled. And especially like the Madalena ending, turning red and all that. I'll see what happens there. But yeah, 
Because it's like that, the story was very good, in my opinion. Okay. And yeah, got the Julia Edric A support right there, which I'm completely fine with. I guess that's enough for now. Yeah, I just talked enough for like the entire thing. And got the music there too. Is there an epilogue epilogue? No. Okay, so the epilogue before the paired endings was the last thing, which is a little bit weird. Since, uh, after... Well, maybe the Madalena thing playing after, like, the A support with Edric would be better. Instead of, like, the awkward paired ending at the end, after you learn about, like, what happened, kind of with, uh... Madalena trying to take power and all that. But anyways, yep, those are my thoughts, as I said. Actually, they're all, yeah, instead of a reveal, it's definitely more like impressions and all that, which hopefully was entertaining enough and un understandable. I think I covered everything I want to say. Yep. I'm good. Oh, no, I guess I'll go into that. Well, no. I guess this is kind of important. I feel like Edric's, like, short turn into the darkness with the sleeping god and taking the dragon blood was... It definitely felt weird to me. Like, before that, he was like a totally well how they put it well it's making it sound like a bad thing like a white knight like he kind of had like no flaws as he was a good strategist he was a good fighter and then he like uh was against monsters was against uh zadar wanted to help julie get her kingdom back so yeah overall good person it's just that like and then at some point it's just like suddenly BAM dragon blood and then wants to kill Phoenix. I know that he was affected by the sleeping god but even then it just felt like a complete turnabout that seemed forced for unnecessary character addition that was added just to make the story and more mature and not entirely consistent with Edric's character. Like, even if that part wasn't in it... Uh, yeah. I don't think my opinion with Edric would change. Like, it still hasn't changed. It just... Added a... Kind of weird... Layer... Kind of thing to him. Something like that. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. Yeah, like, even after drinking the... Dragon's Blood. He said he still wanted to kill Phoenix, but before that, I, st I mean, he did get beaten up by Phoenix. But even afterwards, he didn't like mention much about that, about getting revenge or any anything. He just like continued on with trying to help Julia, and that's it. So that just felt very, very tacked on, just to make it more interesting. Oh, I don't know. Anyways. Okay, character review. My Edric started out really bad. Had like a very low speed, got doubled by stuff, and he didn't actually have like the defense back then in order to tank. After getting the, yeah, his personal weapon, the Lionheart, definitely helping him grow, grow levels and grow the death state. But I'm pretty sure Edric's not supposed to be as bad as mine. Like before, he's supposed to be like probably one of the best throughout the entire game. Especially with his uh, personal weapon that keeps on coming since at one point I had like what, five of them? And they're pretty good. 90 hit, 8 effective weapons, high crit too. So yeah. Well he is the main character so you do, you do have to use him and it's not that hard to train him. So yeah, I guess he's a good unit. That's how I say it since mine wasn't that good. 
in line with Supergirl, I'll probably like rate him like a lot higher, but he wasn't. Julia, definitely good after promotion. She does leave for a while, but even before that, she does what she has to do. She heals, moves around, can rescue, drop. Not bad. Miley, I was thinking of benching her for a while. She did not get strength at all. She was still speedy, but less speedy than Shorn. But her strength was definitely a problem until she got her one t three range weapon. Then that, uh, yeah, changed things again so that she could chip from range and also kill from range since this did go speed. And it also gives like quite a, a bit of an attack at 10. Like it's strong, stronger than Steel Bow and like early on you just don't get that many Silver Bows and all that. So yeah. Another personal weapon helping a character out, huh. It's like the game was designed for that. Yeah, of course it was. So that you do use the characters, even if they might be lagging behind a little bit. I guess the extreme case is probably Gallon. Like, when he does come back from Lehman. Since he will be kind of low level and then the show where he just gives him so many kills. That you can just train him up whenever you like. So yeah, I'm talking about him now since I killed him off, so yeah. Okay. Alexius. Really good mage, the 1 to 3 range definitely helps him, since he does come as a trainee kind of in the mid game, where enemies do hit a little bit harder, but if you do train him up, he does turn out super good. Even if you don't like give him the, uh, I, I forgot what's called in this game, but the perfume, but basically the Athos is tier to give the stats a boost. Yeah, even without that, his growths are decent enough that if you just train him from a trainee, he'll be like pretty good. Mine, I don't think it's blessed, but yeah, it should still be good. Hill is busted. Late game, she falls off a little bit because of how strong the monsters are. And the 26, 24, 25 cap isn't high at all. But with her availability and yeah, how she'll just carry you to the early mid game with how many levels she can get from a trainee, so much good early EXP, she'll just like snowball to the end and yeah, I don't see her being bad in anyone's playthrough at all if you do just give her the kills, a couple here and there, yeah. And if you don't want to kill with her, you can just like give her... Well, she's basically a rally speed if you just stand beside her. Yep. In my opinion, the best unit in the game is Hilda. Sorry, Edric. Okay, Leandra. Also super good. She also has pretty good growths, but of course her main thing is the smite. That you do get, well, not that early. Kind of mid-game-ish. But 310 range, 15 might, 30 crit. That's just busted. That's, this is just how you get like someone super high level easily when other people like will have to like walk up and attack the Sheikah and just like blast someone from afar and probably get the kill with that crit and then she'll get levels that way so yeah she's also a very good unit. Gris is also a good unit. He's a little bit slow but with his bulk and his availability from like start to finish even if he doesn't get that much speed I think mine's is a little bit blessed at 18. He should be a good tank. And after he gets like his, uh, well, if you promote him and his fear stamp, he just like, even if he if he is slow, he'll still counter for decent damage. It's like super good. Shorn. Yeah. I had to force myself to feed kills to Shorn because of his low strength. Hurley mid, well even late game his strength is still kind of low at 16. He is lower level than the others, but yeah. Oh. Sorry, just saw the comment. Uh, mature nature wasn't excessive. Sorry, who's mature nature? I want to say Edric. I want to say that it was 
Well, I'll let you answer first before I go on, since I already said my piece before and I... Yeah, that comic code came a lot earlier. That's my bad. But yeah, back to Shorn. His speed early on was also good, so he could double stuff. The problem was that because of low strength, I couldn't quite kill stuff with him. And his low defense meant that I couldn't just like tank everything. Oh, bad words. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Since uh, most of the stuff happened off screen and all that. Yeah, okay, yeah. That was that's something also good about the game. It like delved into like mature content, but then like actually use the words to make it that bad. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, next up, Katrine. Healer. Early availability. I just use early healers because, uh, yeah. I, at the very least, wanted to stick with one story of beginning to end. But since her magic isn't that high, I couldn't promote, uh, sorry, I couldn't tackle her after promotion, so I couldn't get kills with, like, uh, the others, like Leandra and all that. But she did grow up pretty fine. She could at the very least hold her own with her decent speed. Yeah, 50 growth is probably good, but I think mine's didn't grow that well. Yeah, she's a healer. I don't have much else to say. Oh, Nora. Dancer. She dances. That's why she's good, but I don't use dancers. Especially if I have limited character slots, I'd rather use other characters rather than sticking myself to a dancer because I find it more fun that way. You know, dancing does did save me a couple times, but at the same time, no thank you. But yeah, for other people, you should probably use dancers as they'll probably save you. At least. I think she's average? The problem is that she's gone for a large part of the game, so you don't actually get to use her a lot. When she does come back, she's... Okay. Paragon does give her a lot of levels to grow, but by the, by the time you get Elise back, you... Well, probably already have quite a good squad around you. So, yeah, go ahead and train her. She'll definitely get a lot of, lot of levels, get a lot of stats, but... I don't think you're losing anything if you don't use Elise. Since she's also frail enough that she, yeah, can't counter that well. That can be said about a lot of the other units, but their availability makes it so that you probably get more attached to them to Elise. So if you want someone that you like who isn't bad, you can probably avoid using Elise. Unless the my Elise is just bad. And that's just how she turns out and she's supposed to be like the best unit in the game. But I don't see it, so sorry about that. Tancred. I actually really like Tancred despite his low uh, magic. Because of his defense growth, well even even if like his cap's a little bit low. He'll usually like grow quite tanky by like the mid game and then you can like send him over somewhere to have him tank. And his I do I do believe his magic growth is fairly high. No sorry, magic base was fairly high so he could deal decent damage. I think my tank grid's magic got screwed over a little bit, but Yeah. He doesn't really need it that much, but enemies don't have that much res. And he can just tank and counter, and then yeah, that's the job. I definitely got a lot of kills after I got the Cataclysm. But even before that, you can probably just heal and all that. Yeah. I like him. Otello, pain to get. And just kind of like a lease. By the time you get him, he'll have pretty good stats, but at the same time, not that good that if you like other characters and want to use them, then you can just bench him. No problem. Sometimes I just think he's not worth the trouble getting with the talks and then I'll talk again. Especially if Sophia's like not anywhere around like mine was and then I had like go around everywhere in order to get him, which was a pain. 
But yeah, he's very good. Availability sucks. So if you don't want to use him, you probably don't have to. Okay. Well, for Tello here, I guess I should talk about Morgana. I saw those girls for like an armor knight. I was like, wow. Too bad I got her killed, but I think she could grow into like one of the best units in the game too. With that high uh, strength uh, and speed. I kind of forget her defense, but I think that was high too. So she's probably good as well. Okay, Phoenix. Join Slate. Actually, worse bases than like Otello. But his Infernus does make up for his like a uh, kind of low speed. Let me equip that for a second and uh, double check his stats. Since it does make him to be a pretty good uh, fighter, it's just that he kind of depends on it. Which is fine, since he is kind of like a late game promoter unit kind of guy. Yeah, plus six, 6 defense plus 6 uh, speed. It's pretty good. So yeah, he's okay. Unlike Otello, or like uh, Elise, I do think he's good enough. With speed, strength, and defense when he does come in that you should use him. If you like don't have anyone else you want to use. Yeah. Okay. Sophia. She came on awkward time. Especially since a lot of my units were promoting and their stats were like overtaking Sophia's. Yeah, and I didn't really need a mage knight. Not when I had like Elena, Alexia, and Leandra like uh, to train as well. Then Beal is okay, but the low defense and kind of low HP definitely turned me off. But with, with her magic and speed growth, she, she could turn out pretty well and then just do like tons of damage if you do train her. She will have less room to grow, but she does have those, uh, yeah, kind of long term okay unit to use. I didn't use her too much. Okay, Hadima. Try training her. These are actually not bad stats for level 5 Wyvern Lord for sure. Could be better? The good thing is that she does have Nullify, so she doesn't take extra damage from an arrow, so you, you can give her an extra weapon rather than a Storm Crust. Yeah, she, she'll probably be good, but I just want to train some other units instead of Hedema. From what I can see, especially with her gross being, yeah, 60, 40 defense, even 35 speed is, isn't that low. Especially with her uh, base being kind of high, I believe. Yeah, so, yeah, even if she doesn't go any speed at 20, that's still not that bad. Yeah. She's, she's okay. Harlan... His availability... Sorry, his availability does suffer a little bit, but... I like his stats. Like, he's one of the few sword units that can actually use the light brand properly. And I've just been using that only on him to, like, 1-2 range. Dealing damage and is, yeah, he just crits a lot sometimes, and those are like decent overall growths. So even if he like doesn't grow that well, he should get stats here and there every level up, and together with the light brand and, and his personal weapon, one two range from range is pretty good. And of course, the thief utility is uh, useful too when you do need them. When he comes out, he's super good though. High level, deals a lot of damage, can tank, can steal. He definitely falls off later, but like I said, with the 1-2 range, he can still like fight decently. Where you do need him to fight, when he's not stealing, or picking locks and all that. Okay, Freya. Oh, my Freya. I do like her, well, her defense probably isn't supposed to be this high. Yeah, should probably be lower than her strength. But yeah, I got blessed Freya in the wrong ways. No strength, but tons of speed, tons of skill, tons of defense, tons of res. Just, just no strength, so I actually had to use the rhyme frame with her in order to get kills, which isn't that much of a problem. Since, yeah, I hoard weapons anyway, so I had a ton of them to give to her. So that's how I trained her up to actually to level 9. I think Freya... 
well, not my fear, but other people's fear is probably better. They probably get a little bit more strength, and that's all she really needs in order to kill some stuff with the flying utility. And being able to like just fly around using her frost spear and her other lancers in order, in order to like get kills and all that. And also rescue dropping and all that. And killing flying enemies, going to get villages. I think she's supposed to be a good, good unit. At the very least, better than Hadima because of availability. And I'll get to Natya later. Okay, Drought. Honestly, I think he would have been decent if I kept training him. It's just that once he got to level 20, I got like Alexius, Leandra, and the other units to get to level 22, so I bench him for a bit. Actually, the fact that he that I did bench him and his stats didn't carry over well might mean that he's actually not that good. Yeah. He might have high strength, He'll, he probably would have kept getting strength. But at 13 speed, he would definitely get doubled by like a lot of units later. His speed growth isn't that bad, no 30. But yeah, if you can see a pattern, I don't quite like super slow units. Like that defense is okay, and his HP is okay. But it's just that speed skill of luck. So he will have a little bit of trouble hitting stuff. But, well even early game I also had trouble getting him kills. But after he kept going, he would, uh, was, sorry, got going. He was decent, like mid game being able to like, attack stuff, but yeah, when I did field him again, he definitely felt like a liability that I had to protect. Which shouldn't be possible, because it's high defense. But yeah, I guess I just uh, benched him way too long. But I think he's not that bad, just not a great unit. Okay, Rivka. 30 strength is actually not bad. Out of growth, and I think she did grow a couple times, but with a focus on speed and skill, I definitely wasn't expecting that for a axe knight user. I guess she depends on weapons more than her like base stats. Sorry, for uh, strength, like her speed will keep going, so she'll double. Well, maybe not double, but won't get double if by stuff, and then she'll also like get defense quite a bit too. And I do like her skill, which, yeah, decreases damage. Yeah, per space move, which is pretty good. But just like Drought, I benched her since, yeah, I saw them as a pair. But I think she should be better than Drought. As for what type of unit I guess, I'll leave it as good but not great, but better than Drought. <laughs> Something like that. Wrestling, actually very good. For, well his cap is level 20, but he gets experience super quickly at the beginning. I mean, the, even, even at like the late, later levels, his EXP growth is still pretty fine. It's just that he doesn't promote, so... Yeah, these are stats you get, and they don't grow any stronger, unfortunately, unlike other units. And I think this is a pretty average Wrestling. Yeah, 75 and 45 strength. Well, maybe a little bit low on strength. But he does what he needs to do, which is go fight flying wyverns and pegasi, take care of them so that my ground units can keep moving. Well, having to worry about like those pesky flyers. His skill, it was a little bit bad. But it might just be my resin. He has some trouble hitting. The, the vicious bite. It's also pretty heavy for him, so that also affects him, maybe. But... He does his job very well, I gotta say. Definitely more of a niche character. So, in that case, I guess I can classify him as a... Great unit? Yeah, 60 HP, 15 defense, and 11 res is pretty good. He doesn't get doubled by anything. So if you do need a tank, he can do it. He just suffers from uh, one range. Well, that's okay. Best dialogue character? 
Not wrong. <laughs> Too bad I didn't, didn't get any more of his support since I didn't like fuel him with probably his support characters. Like uh, Edgar, Tancred, Hadima, and all that. When I did use him, unfortunately. All the crewing was definitely funny. Okay, Gareth. I'm sorry, I saw no reason to use Gareth. No reason at all. It's good skill growth is probably good, but I'd rather have speed, defense, and strength. When he joins, he joins, I think, after a, se a series of characters that I already wanted to use, and the bench slots were starting to open up. So, yeah, he was the last I got to level 20. People like training soldiers, and I, I do get why he's in here for that, but... Yeah, I just don't see why I would ever use him. 40 strength, 40 speed is probably good, but at the same time, not for me. Okay, Rowan. He joins initially at like high level and better than Drell, so I was thinking of like benching Drell for Rowan, but then he leaves, taking my hammer with me, so that definitely left a bad impression. And these stats don't also paint a good picture for him at level 20. That 9 speed. He does have good defense and strength. It's just, it's just that he's like gone for a long while and then when he comes back he's just like mediocre. And then even if you train him you might get like bad speed like mine. You know I think mine's is also screwed. Yeah. Availability, well, it's not as bad as some of the other characters, but it's just not as good as some of the other ones as well. So if I did have to pick a, like a bad unit in the game, Rowan might be one of them, unfortunately. Alongside, probably, well, I can't, I can't say Garrus a bad character, with those growths. <laughs> it might actually just be Rowan. Since at the very least Drell and Rivka come in like fairly early on that you can't train them, but Rowan just like comes. I'm sorry, Rowan. Yeah, yep. That hammer. And somehow it did appear on my combo again. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. You know that might have something to do with my poor opinion of Rowan. But I think objectively speaking, he yeah, might be a bad unit. Okay, like, if I just, like, cycle through, like, the characters, even though, like, uh, there is still the promotion bonus, but Rowan just doesn't look as good. Actually, it's not that bad as Donald. Okay, Donald. Also a character I don't quite understand why I would ever use. No, I, no, I guess having bows is good for a couple chapters with all the flying units. If you have to like take them down from range, he can also chip, he can also uh, attack from 2-3 range. Moving through terrain at 1 space doesn't really matter too much for me. So, so yeah, I just like move my my entire group as a unit and then if he goes too far I just like pull him back. I can see his good uses. It's just that with my lead to train. And then when Edgar comes, he just has better stats if you don't like feed every kill to Donald, which you probably shouldn't do. As he should be chipping and all that. I guess having a, a horse for promotion is decent. But I don't see him being like a top tier unit for anyone honestly. Like even with his high strength growth. It's not, not, not the same with Edgar though, even though Edgar comes later. And before and after then, you, you'll you have Miley. I know it's a kind of bad thing to compare your units based on class. But even if I don't think of that, his stats aren't anything to like run away about. He can tank a couple. He did like uh, dodge tank a lot for me for that one chapter where he didn't die. You know if he did die, I would probably just abandon him and not restart for him. So that... That, that was a good thing, I gotta admit. Decent defense, but at the same time. He is locked to 2 range. 
well, 2-3 range, since, yeah, you do get a couple longbows. But unlike Miley, he's not really, uh, essential character, so yeah. I don't like him that much, but I think he could be good. Okay, not yeah. This might be a theme or something, but is my not yet also kind of screwed? Because at 16 speed, 16 magic promoted, that seems kind of bad. Like, e even if, well, her skill was changed from patch 1.2 to 1.3 to make her a little bit better, plus 5 speed when attacking. Versus, uh, yeah, plus speed when she's like low health. But, mine was just bad. You could chill with her from 1-2 range, but it took effort to feed her kills, and even if she did get killed, she didn't like, grow that much. I mean, magic is probably good to have since attacking people on res who have bad res is a good thing, but she had low HP, low defense, low res, so she couldn't tank anything. And then when she did attack, she usually couldn't double because she wasn't fast enough to do it. But flying utility could be good, magic could be good, but might not use bad. So therefore, I didn't quite like her. But I could see other people's oh yeah, other people's turn good. Just like a couple of my, uh, other my units, but yeah, I didn't need her, so I didn't use her. Okay, Sheila. Three for placement for a while. Sheila was okay. She's she's definitely not a fighter though. Yeah, now with this Troy uh, strength growth, she's just a speedy girl who I guess, uh, well, doesn't tank, but she does dodge if you need her to like fight a little bit. She can also do that with that plus two strength Rose, Rose's Thorn, which I almost broke of how many times I used it, especially to get her kills and all that. But yeah, she's a thief. Use, use her to open the uh, chest, and she can like, yeah. Block a healer, block a mage, if you're in range. Just one though, because two, if she gets hit, she's dead. Yeah, she does what she does. Doesn't kill, like Harlan does. So, I do rate her lower, class-wise, since they do kinda do, do the same thing. Even though their availability is different. But yeah, don't, don't dodge tank with her too much. Because of her low defense and all that. Her HP is actually pretty decent though. Even though, uh, yeah, the growth isn't that high, but I guess mine just got a bit of HP, which is a good thing for me. Edgar... Those, those are decent bases when he came in. Like, a uh, mid late game. Decent, as in... Speed was, uh, yeah, I think he did get doubled by some of the guys around him when he joins you, you do have to protect him. And he, yeah, starts a fairly high level that he doesn't get that, many, that much EXP from kills, so yeah. Actually, now that I look at these bases again, they're actually not that good for when he joins, is it? The 22 strength is nice, he can probably like one-shot flyers, but that speed though, he does have also one range, so in my opinion, that does put him above Donald for sure. Especially uh, before promotion, that range of promotion. But yeah, you don't have to train him, you can just feel him if you need to and then attack flyers. But if, like if I just feel him in like the last map, even if he gets like what, 5-6 levels? I don't see him like growing enough to not get destroyed by like those paladins or something while well, many of my units could actually like take a hit some of that okay hadrian why are his growth so bad isn't he a, a royal knight shouldn't he be like kind of good like look at that i think these are like the worst worst growths in the game like when i compare my gallon and hadrian i think my gallon is actually better before I lost him. I did train him a little bit, but Galen was lower level, so he had more room to grow. 
Like for the kind of points stats, even compared to like uh, Sophia who I didn't train much is not that much better. Let me go back to Sophia. Yeah. 15, 14. Okay, it's higher than A12. But. When he did join, a lot of my units. Well, this is a kind of common story since he did join kind of late, but a lot of my other units already had fairly good stats that this wasn't anything outstanding. So if you if you do need uh, like a filler, someone with a uh, good stats who join, sorry, someone who joins with good stats, and you don't have anyone else to use, he's probably a good addition if you didn't train like other people. But if you already had like a decent squad, he's like, I I don't see a point in using him. I guess we should want the light magic, swords and lances. But I don't see Hadrian being good. Especially if you are trying to like bring him to the end game. And then you train him a little bit, he's just like not gonna grow that much. I guess with these stats he'll tank like one or two shots. So that's not that bad. But no. Actually, because of growth. No, but those bases are still decent. And the enemies uh, are like not that difficult that he should be able to survive fine. I'm hesitant to call him a bad unit though. Since he does come like this without any training, but his availability does suck compared to the others. So yeah, compared to everyone I guess, he might actually be a bad unit. Yeah, okay, I think he is. Sorry, just like Rowan. But in the context of this game, being a bad unit isn't like that bad, they're still usable. It's just that they're not as good as the others. Which I think is a pretty good accomplishment by the creator. Where you can use everyone and they're not like terrible ter Well, that's kind of true of any unit in any Fire Emblem, I guess. Maybe you can just like feed them kills. But I can see the use for everyone here. Well, well, well having to like... I don't know. Go completely out of your way to train them. With, with how much uh, reinforcements uh, enemy EXP that you can get. Which I already mentioned earlier, so I'm not gonna go into that talk again. But yeah, that was basically my character overview. How I felt about them. What I think they're good or bad. But of course it's all subjective because that's how I rate my characters. And this is also why I like Fire Emblem because uh, characters can grow depending on their growth which is percentage based. But of course, uh, balancing around their bases and growths is a challenge and should be applauded when they are done well. And this is also why personal weapons are also here. To make sure that even if they don't grow so well, they'll at the very least have something, something to do. Like something meaningful to do. Like a lot, a lot of them do have personal weapons, even though some of them don't, but... They do have them so that you can use them if you want to. Okay, yep. And yeah, I'm done playing through uh, the Dark Amulet. No Iron Man run since it was, well, even though I did game over on like the mass last map, I do think the game is fairly easy compared to some of the other hacks I played. Which is fine. Since uh, from what I read, the main point of this is to enjoy the story and enjoy the characters. I'm not saying the gameplay wasn't fun, since it was also fun. Since Fire Emblem gameplay is a generally fun. Um, but... I do like difficulty in my hacks. Like, uh... As you'll see soon. You'll, you'll see what difficulty means. But, uh, it's not gonna be why I play next. Anyways, I am gonna stream again tomorrow with something new. Don't know how long it'll last, but we'll see. It's also Fire Emblem related, and the next 
one after as well. It's gonna be Fire Emblem related. That's not uh, my other game. And yeah. But for now, that's gonna be it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you next time in my next series. Oh yeah. Before I end it though, I... Yeah, like I said, I really did enjoy this hack. Please don't, don't let any of my, like, uh, negative... Well, you know I did praise a lot. I did have some critiques. But don't... That it think it didn't... Uh, sorry, that it... That completely hampered my enjoyment of the game, which is completely wrong. This is a good hack. I had fun. And I do hope that there is a sequel. So, yeah. Bye.